If you want to pump your body and expand your mind, there's only one place to go. Mind Pump. Mind Pump. With your hosts, Sal Stefano, Adam Schaefer, and Justin Andrews. So today's episode is a little unique episode for you guys today. This is us just hanging out at the beach. We got away for a couple days where we create and uh, decided just to record while we're sitting out here. So it's kind of a cool, I don't know. Fun we, conversation. Super, yeah. super random, but just... What reminisce, we to talk we reminisce about. a little bit. We were talking. God, we were talking about. Some, we talked a lot about new media, the business. We talked about. God, what else? Yeah, we we talk were about? trying to solve the world at one point. I in think that conversation. we went off yeah. just in, in really, really good conversation. It was good though. It was. It yeah. Was. So those those people that are used to like the. We've done a couple of these episodes recently. We have some. Yes, yeah, where we just go off. Part of what inspired us to just get on the mics today and do that is it's been a long time. We. Let, I mean, this is how the structure works for Mind Pump. We have our quads. We have our interviews. We haven't had this opportunity to do random episodes like we used to when we first started. Mm -hmm. And so we started sprinkling them in, and we're getting all this great feedback. Yeah, so we're, we were trying to see what, how people would react because that was like a lot of what we did in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of what we did. So and this, it's fun. And, and this episode is, is going to be sponsored by Organifi. So that's the official sponsor. Now, we didn't do any sort of a commercial inside of the episode because it literally was us just having a conversation yeah, right yeah, now yeah. on the beach and hanging out and yep. we weren't thinking about sponsors. We were just recording what we we're talking about. And you guys know, if you listen to us, Organifi, we work with them. They, they, they make organic supplements, uh, some of which we use quite a bit, like the turmeric, which I've talked about uh, quite a few times, the green mm. juice that yeah, green juice we like to take on our, our trips. And well, we always run it. We have it right now. We always go on our trips and it's, it's a staple thing that we all pack always. Mm -hmm. You get the little mm -hmm. travel packs for the green juice. And, and we do have a, a discount. We have a, a, spe a specific discount for Mind Pump listeners. And is it Organifi now or is it Organifi Shop? It's Organifi.com forward slash Mind Pump. And they get 20% off. 20% off if you use the code Mind Pump. Yeah, that's right. Check Our out. pretty mugs are on Use that the now. code Mind Pump. Oh, we have so. a little see us there. Yeah, that's right. Landing page. Oh, yeah. we got a cool landing page yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they used it. Oh, they had the beard. I've got the big beard of that one. <laughs> you had a very fatherly looking yeah, beard on yeah. that one. That was before yeah. I was very paternal. taking care of it. Yeah, because now you're like, you're, you're making it. At yeah, a point, yeah, yeah. I can, it's, it's you're more known, it. yeah, yeah, like sharp. It's yeah. not yeah. as round. Yeah, it was, it's a little <laughs> more <laughs> round back then. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> this episode is just us having a fun it's, conversation. Right, giving back to you guys. Those That's of you guys it. that have been around for a long time, love listening to these types of conversations. You'll enjoy it. Those of you here that are purely for the fitness. science, exercise, science, and fitness, you may not. Sorry, enjoy not this. sorry. Fast sorry. forward to the or go to the the qua episodes that yeah. where we answer questions. Yeah, That's right. We'll, we'll get. We get love you all though. So here we go. What if we're not good? What if we just like doing this because we feed each other's egos, but it's we're not just as like good as <laughs> I, well, uh, no. I think there's a lot of truth to that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we're so awesome. Whoa, we're so awesome. good. Awesome. Oh, I mean, we're so uh, awesome. The high fives, high fives. The first step, I think, of, of success is first believing that you are, right? I mean, <laughs> yeah. if you don't, you're never going to be that way. Well, right? We got that one down. I, so. think, I think that's important. You got to tell the audience this is different. We are definitely, we're out oh, yeah. in, uh, where are we at? Pajaro Dunes. Pajaro Dunes. Pajaro Dunes. Yeah. Yeah. God, who's got the most fucked up feet? Let's put our feet it's out. It's me, dude. All like, of like, <laughs> he, he like starts a survey. He's well, like, hey, no, we're all fucked up. I've got bro. one special toe. Yeah, you think so? yeah. You have a, you have oh. a, you have a genuinely special toe. Like, yeah, it's the kind you of have, like, it's like retarded. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's, what's wrong with it? It's going different directions. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Did you break it or something? Mine's mine's all uniformly fucked. Yeah, you know? it's like. They, they're trying to grip for for the earth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Look how it, ah. yeah, you're, and then uh, there's some fallen soldiers in there. Yeah. You know? it's like sounds look like they're destined to yellow. have arthritis. Mine. <laughs> 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 I do have like they you. I have excessively long. <laughs> yeah, but you, 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 you but so really do you. Long. Uh, Why is that one so long? <laughs> you know what? It's just I have. It's long, just I have long. Don't touch. It. <laughs> Can I say something right now? <laughs> don't ever touch another man's foot. No, no, no. Uh, don't ever touch another man's foot with your foot. Yeah. <laughs> That's the worst. That's like a double. No, worse is when hand to hand goes yeah. an accident. Hand to hand uh, is just, worse uh, than foot to foot. I think That's just, like crossing streams. You know, in Ghostbusters, where they fucking don't touch. The oh streams. come on, you cross yeah. streams all the time when you're a kid. I, yeah, remember that? Well, did you? That's different. <laughs> When you were real, real, real young, when you were little, course, little dude. boys do that shit all the time. My, my kids do that. I mean, I'm do they really? the bus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. We pee off the back deck, dude. We do all that stuff. Because you're, you're leading the way. That's why. <laughs> it's fun. This it's is like, totally normal, boys. Listen, you were gonna pee off the like, deck. Weren't you gonna pee off the deck last night? Boy. Yeah, I was. Last night you were gonna pee off the deck. You would literally pee into someone's yard. All these social <laughs> constructs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh. Yeah. Taylor was like, uh, like, let me be free. Yeah, I don't think that's. I don't think that's appropriate. Dude, we're we're we're. If you you can't pee off this deck, there's houses in front of us. Yeah, no, I got that much. People, Somebody could have walked by, and that would have been a dick. move. That would have been uh, uh, not just a dick move. You would have been on Megan's Law. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes, yeah. I know. It's like like laws now. for indecent exposure. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's scary. Did I ever did I ever tell you guys that I had a trainer who worked for me that it, his his dad was on Megan's Law? His yes. dad was. Yeah, yes, dude. I was there with you, bro. I won't I won't say any names, right? That's I can't, fucked I up. But I remember that I was like, "What the fuck?" At that time, I had just found out what Megan's Law was. Yeah. And someone was showing me like, "Oh yeah, no, you could just put put in a zip code or an address, and it'll show you all the offenders oh, in the area." And I was tripping out on that, and, and you, the, the immediate horror after that. Yeah, oh, you're just like, ah, like you research your own zip code. Well, you know, it's, like, see all these it's kind of broad how you can get on there. Like, right. Well, that's what this yeah. is. What made this yeah. a, such an awkward yeah. situation for me is like, I see my trainer who I've I've been working for me for quite some time at that time, and I see his dad pop up. We never had that conversation. Yeah, like you don't know what why he was on there, right? No. He and, and, and actually, I, if you go on Megan's law, and, and I, here's the thing: been. I know him so well that yeah. I've gone camping or done things with him and stuff like that, yeah. and I would never ever suspect. You'd never that. assume that, yeah. right? So but that's how it usually works. Now, right? did it say? Did it say on? No, it, it's very vague the way it they did, say it. Said yeah. It says yeah. like in, it. No, I, oh, I wish I remember the exact. But I, I knew. I remember then trying to trust me. I tried to troubleshoot this for like years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember like trying to like, what yeah. could it possibly? Could it be this? It could be that. Right. What's most? What's most likely? I know his personality really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would he most likely? Dang. Could have got himself caught up because you can pee and like get like like you said like you can get put up on there for some bullshit. Yeah, if you were to, yeah. if you were to pee outside at like a public park. <laughs> yeah. If you peed yeah. in a public park. Park and there were children present. You know, even yeah. if they weren't present. Even if they weren't? Even if they weren't. If it was like you were strolling by at 11 o'clock I don't at night. know any man who's never done that. Every well, man's done that's that. That's why it's that's crazy because that's why Every somebody could. Done that. Yeah. 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 But then you ask you can yourself, also get put on there if you're, let's say you're a. You can also get on there if you rape kids. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. So it's all no. That's a good point. No, that's it's all in the same yeah, thing. That's why. It's, that's why it's not fair. It's not. Yeah. That, well, that's what I'm trying to get to. <laughs> you, just, you just you said that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I know that was like, oh, that was well, it's too is much it, for my brain. Is right it? <laughs> it's, the, it's the truth, though, it right? The truth. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's. <laughs> Like he jumped so far. Me and Adam, uh, I mean, me, me and Jester, almost like cut the podcast. But that, that was <laughs> cut the podcast. Hey, we're done. We're done. That's too much. That's terrible. That's real life, right no, there. But, yeah. But it's true, man. Yeah. It's true. You know, you can get on there if, let's say, there's a guy or a girl, because this girls can get on there too, right? Although not a lot of them are on there compared really? to guys. Yeah, yeah, I guess you can. We yeah. make up. Let's be honest. You know, men make up a majority of the fucked up. Uh, you know, winning in, the in all the wrong games. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's 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 because we're disposable. We're, yes. we're, it, we're, we're that's why we evolved the way we did. We're disposable. But anyway, you it, you can literally have a guy who's nineteen, who has a girlfriend who's let's say seventeen, and they have sex or whatever, and her parents could could go after him and say, oh, statutory rape. But even though they're almost they're only like, you know, two yeah. years apart, he can get on that list. Well, technically, you do that one year apart, right? You yeah. could. Yeah. You could, it, there's some laws, I think, in some states where they tried to remedy that by passing, like saying, okay, if, if they have to be this many years apart or whatever, or whatever. But anyway, yeah, it that's gets fucked complicated. Up. Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, but I never had that conversation, though. Yeah. It's like I one didn't... of those ones, like, I wanted to, but I didn't want to. Really? Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, you just want I don't know, know how. Yeah. Bro, I've done things with him. No, just you're right. I, know. I, knew, I knew him you know? pretty well, too. <laughs> just curious. What kind of thing? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's what, what, what do these camping trips look like? I mean, yeah. I, I probably me today like would ask. I, I think me yeah. today would ask. Me back then was more like, shit, I don't know if this is the yeah. right. If it's, you, you know. would not have, yeah, wanted to pursue that. Yeah, right, yeah, but it, yeah. and that was in, in this, this person worked for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. long time. Wow. Well, uh, and uh-huh. I'm, I'm this dad, like I said, I did things with him. Like we, like <laughs> I should clarify. Yeah, that, that sounds bad. <laughs> well, I'm trying not to be specific, so people can't be. That's oh, work for me. Can start to like piece it together. Like you went on, like you did things, like went out or family outings. Yeah. Yeah, Things yeah, like exactly. He was close. I was very close to his his family, right? Which I was that way with a lot of my trainers that worked with me for a long mm-hmm. time. So that doesn't narrow it down to a trainer for. Is anybody, there any? But, is there right. any element of the gym working in the gym? Is there any element of it that you miss? That oh, any of you guys miss? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Really? People. I mean, really, just seeing the those people like. I mean, it, it was tough to leave that environment, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. It was, it the just, team atmosphere. It's the team, and it it kind of... I mean, well, we have a it team It was now. easy to fall into that, though, you know, like what was established more. It's like everything's like... Right, I'm, I'm talking about specifically to the yeah, gym. Yeah, you're right. Because we have a team now. No, you're you know. right. We, we're rep- replicating that. Yeah, but what about the gym? Now. Like, here's what I miss. I don't I don't, I don't, I don't miss anything about really? it. Really? No, I really don't. I mean, there's like the, the, the part of the team, like we have it in a cooler way now. Like, like Justin sure. was saying... 
We stepped. You came into an established, built structure. It was established. We're, yeah. we're, we're building and creating that, which I think that's what satisfies the craving of why we love doing it so much is because it requires a whole other level of yeah. skill. It's well, one thing to go, get there, It's one I thing think. to join a team. It's another yeah. thing to build the team. It's right? totally sure, different. Sure. Right. Totally sure. different but skill. I, I do. But see, I also I do miss some specifics about it, like because you got to keep in mind, I've been out of gyms. For well, I can think of something I missed. A long time. I miss because people watching. Because for 12 or 13... <laughs> yes. I was just going to say, for yeah. 12 or 13... <laughs> right. No, I'm sorry. For 13 I years... I like that. I owned a wellness that's why studio. I Santa Cruz, bro. I'm telling you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, look, I, I, that's what I miss. I miss the gym, that culture that's within... Because people don't realize this. Gyms are... they. Should, I don't know why they haven't made a sitcom that's based on a gym yet. They have. Yeah, but not well. It, yeah, they, it's it's definitely something. Well, again, that that's somebody also, could. Just, that's like a bar without alcohol. Yeah. Well, again, too, that's also us in well, our bubble. It's in just our human bubble. beings. You there's know, still, anywhere you, humans beings gather, it's there's interesting. Still, there's still yeah. a smaller percentage of people that have been in a gym that haven't. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I'm saying. Yeah, what you know what you, I'm saying like that's we're still we're still it's not that big of a deal. No, but I'm saying what you personally because you experienced it, you were in it. Like the gym required, it was a different level of energy you need to have. Because you walk in, there's always music on. Yeah. There's shit going on all the time. Even during dead time, there's still stuff going on. You kind of, you know, there's, there's you're surrounded by lots of people. You almost, it's almost exhausting if you think about it. It's exciting, but it's also exhausting because it requires a, a well, we different level of well, energy. We all we comment on this all yeah, the time. Very high energy. How often do we comment on this? We we have, next door to us. Yes. We share a wall exactly. with a CrossFit gym. And they play the they blast the music that we all love, yeah. so we totally appreciate it. Yeah. We've never said anything, and they're yelling at each but what, other. But what have we all yeah. said? We said like, "Fuck, that would I'd yeah, be so tired. I'd be so exhausted <laughs> to do exhausting. that every day. I would be so exhausted to to make one of those run. I wouldn't. I know what it would take to make that run efficiently. Yeah, and I know what it would take for me to do that. I'm like, that doesn't sound like fun at all. When you were coaching yeah. at Orange Theory, because when you're doing that, you got to have to put out a lot of energy. I can only imagine you're putting oh, out a lot because of energy. It's like people feed what was, off. What of was it. the most classes you would do in a day, and were they exhausting? They must have been. Exhausting. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But like, like, would you limit yourself? From like, here's the deal. Here's the deal with that, though. So, how do I say this without sounding really fucking arrogant? <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> was of, too the late. Only one that well, could no. It it's, here's it's the truth. Late. It's the truth. It it's by the time I'm about to say something yeah. really cool about well, myself. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead, dude. Do it. Just go. By yes. the time, by the time that I experienced Orange Theory, I had already. You know, I've been a trainer for over 10 years by that time. Yeah, you were so seasoned. My, I was very seasoned. And that's yeah. kind of a job, and not to knock any trainers. There's badass trainers that are there, but it's typically a job that most, like, beginner trainers would get into. It's got a structure for them. They don't really know human anatomy. Sure, they that's don't really, their model, right? The, right. It's designed to attract, yeah. to attract that. And so when, when I got in there, it didn't take the best of me. I said, I've said this before, yeah. I think, on the podcast. It didn't take the best of me to really shine in that environment because I wasn't challenged. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so I could skate by and still... And, but there was moments, and I'm sure people have taken classes of me that have remembered this or that like that, that maybe for them, they're like, oh, man, that was really good. Where, you know, I'm, a, I'm competitive with myself. And so absolutely at the beginning I turned it on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah, I put yeah. I put energy into it's also it. Teaching, I made my playlist. Like teaching I thought a about group, it. teaching a group is so different from training one on one. Totally I don't di- totally different. I yeah. personally don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it nearly as much as I like training people one on one. But I think based off of what you, you, you told me about how you would teach your classes, yeah. it's similar to when I would do group training where rather than doing group training, I would just turn it into like like one on one training in a group. Right. That's how I would approach it. Right, right. Yeah. You know? You're teaching. You're really, mm-hmm. truly teaching that yeah, way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm not you're te- making your rounds. I mean, you're, I'm, you're not, I'm not here to teach. Singling somebody out of, of the group. Like I'm not here to I teach a class that you want. I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to get. You're trying to create an environment for these people so they keep coming back. You like to build community. Yeah. So I can appease. That's why it worked. Like I could appease the company and give them what, what they wanted. But what I was going to do was I was going to make sure that these people left with some sort left. of an impact. Yeah. Right. So I made sure I taught them. I taught, and I, taught, I gave them pieces of the knowledge that I've accumulated over my 15-year career of being a personal trainer. Right, doing right, thousands right, of right, people right, one-on-one right. and that added so much value and that was rewarding that was fun I enjoyed doing that yeah. but it, it definitely didn't stretch me like this yeah, stretches yeah. me what we do now oh, yeah. stretches me to a whole nother level More than, yeah. because it's everything that we I've ever experienced or done in the past well there's no limit either yeah. there's no there, there really yeah. is no limit there's no structure yeah. I mean there's structure we're, we're but there's no it. there's no limiting structure <laughs> no. like you're not limited by you know the rules of another person you're not limited by the walls of a, yeah, of no a, more of a walls. facility yeah it's literally we could push and go and grow as fast or slow as we want to, and the thing that that attracted, I, I think, attracted us the most to to what we're doing and to each other, 
is that we're constantly pushing that limit, always yeah. constantly pushing that limit. And so it just accelerates that process, accelerates. It's one of the reasons why I actually liked personal training so much was what I enjoyed, what I got out of it selfishly <clears throat> was the kind of clients that I would train. As I got, when I got really good, I could pick who I'd train, right? Yeah. And these were people that I would learn from. Yeah. I'm not, I, I like teaching them things too. And they definitely hired me to learn how to exercise and of course. learn how to eat and all that stuff and have different food relationships and wellness and all those wonderful things. But I also selected them for something that I could learn oh, from I them. Well, I can totally echo that. And that's why I, I decided to be even more selective. Like as I developed in, and went further in my career, I wanted yeah. to find people who are killers. But what do they, you know, where do you find them? How do you fish, you know, for that type of a client? Like, how do you even create something like that? I would, so argue it's challenging. The, I would argue it's the real rewarding piece of being a personal trainer that they don't, the most people don't talk about. Most people yeah. act like that it's, is the most rewarding. They, they act like it's about other people and serving them and getting them the results. But in true, true reality, the gym is in what yeah. you get from it. Well, even selfish, even when you, even when you are, are helping other people, uh, lose weight, get in shape, change, whatever, yeah. what you get out of that, the reason why, if you truly do enjoy that, because a lot of people truly do and truly get benefit from that, it's because that then spurs your own personal growth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. if you truly impact someone in a, a very positive way, it's a very humbling experience and it also causes you to, I mean, you self-examine, you grow from it personally. Right. But, I mean, it's look, at one of the reasons why my favorite people ever to train were people in advanced age or people who I considered very, very well versed in a field that I really wanted to yeah. learn. So I ended up training at the end of my career. My clients were either old or they were in medicine. Those were my two yeah. categories of clients. So I trained lots of doctors, anesthesiologists. Uh, I, you know, uh, I trained a psychiatrist at one point. Explains then, why you're such an old man about things already, too. Yeah, well, I love it, man. You're <laughs> such an old man. I gotta go to bed. It's yeah. nine o'clock. I gotta make sure I get my work. Just six yeah. o'clock rolls around. I gotta get my workout in. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Come on. Let's go right now. We gotta get it in now. We don't get it in now. I'm like, oh, bro. Fuck, yeah. this guy's an old man yeah. already, dude. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. But I mean, there's a lot you can learn from talking to someone who's been on earth just twice as long as you. Right. You know what I mean? Right, right. Just meet someone who's been here two times as long as you are, as you have. Oh, dude. Talking to somebody who's actually full of wisdom, like you broke down the difference, you know, what well, that it means it's, it's oh, that that leaves such more of an impact than oh, yeah. you know just talking to smart people because yeah, yeah. it's like because now you're connecting yeah, you know like yeah. and they can apply I, that knowledge. well don't you think that's why podcasting is exploding right now yes yeah. because yes. it gives us that ability to do that it gives us ability to connect to like-minded individuals that you may see as they're they have a bit of knowledge that you don't possess or a little bit more in an area that you want, and then you can you can consume that at whatever rate you want. That's right, and it's know? also it's really it's pretty it's, cool. It's also one of the best ways of learning. I think is conversation, and that's what yeah. a, a podcast does. Is it's conversation. And again, you know, one of the things I got well, out of I personal. Mean, I, I think I don't know if that's necessarily true. That podcasting is a conversation. Sometimes it's like it's a it's a. Well, what I mean by that is it's like it's communicating. It's communicating yeah, in the yeah. oldest way that we communicate, which is through our voice, through our words. Uh, you know, you can obviously watch people and see how they move and all that stuff. So but. we get this a lot. And what do you think then? Because I, I watch a lot of these people that are now starting to get into the space. And, you know, it's natural for you to kind of like, okay, I'm going to watch what these people are doing and I'm going to copy that and do something similar. Yeah. Do you think it's wiser for somebody to go after this more conversational and conversational type of a podcast or that they should put some hard work into a structure and and be more of like an interview style. <laughs> well, so what I so that's an interesting question. Yeah. I think it so, depends on the person. Yeah, I, I know. So I know myself. Background. Like I for sure copy and learn from observing other people, but it, I then assimilate it and it becomes a part of uh, who I am. So like like I'll give you an example. I had a a, a client a while ago. He was an anesthesiologist, Mike. He knows, he knows, he listens to the show, so shout out to Mike. He was this super intelligent dude, but he had this charisma about him that was just amazing. Like, anytime he was around people, he could, he could get away with saying anything to anybody, and they would never get offended. That's how charismatic he was. And so, yeah. I loved being around him. Yes, there's, that, there's magnetism from that, but that's not the, the, that's not the main reason why I like to be around the guy. I like to be around him because I used to observe how he would do that and how he did that so effortlessly and try to kind of pick up on that and learn those skills myself. And mm -hmm. I think if you're trying to be a podcaster, listen to your favorite podcasts, I would say, and 
you know, you start to assimilate and pick up on the things that speak to you or, or why they pull you in. And for some people, that's going to be the more spontaneous conversation style podcast. For other people, it's maybe more informative. I'm not quite sure. I do think it's a blend. I think I can, you know, I can only speak for us. I know we're very natural conversationalists. It's super, super easy for us to communicate and have good conversation. But I don't think that that means that we won't benefit from some of the structure. Yeah. For sure. I think some of the structure will definitely benefit us. We were talking about this earlier about mm. how we conduct our interviews. I think we were, we get away with, you know, we talked about this a lot. Like we get away with being able to just have a good conversation so much so that we don't. Well, it's another example where your greatest strength is your greatest weakness. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Because so I think some of that structure will help us. Yeah. So, we've been know? leaning hard on that. Yep. And I think we all have recognized that. And I'm, and there's other podcasts I've seen that have leaned heavy on, you know, the information and that's going to carry them through the whole podcast and like doing their research and, you know, priding themselves on all that. Like as far as like, okay, I'm going to at least outwork everybody. I'm going to do all the research. Yeah. I'm going to know as much as I can know about this person. So I'm going to have a good conversation as a result, which works. It's yeah. a formula that works. And what, what really what it is is because I used to think about it like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to research this guest so I can know what to ask, so I can know questions I'm going to prepare. That's not accurate. I think what it is is I'm going to learn about this guest. Right, so I can have a good conversation. So I can have a good conversation. That's what right. it is, 100%. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, That's exactly what it is. Yeah, so we can just sit down and have a good conversation. What's his name? Is excellent at that. Jordan. Uh, Harbinger. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got to be one of the best uh, – like podcasters in that sense that I've, I think I've ever heard. Well, I mean, he's been around for a very long time. He's put the work in. He interviews all over the spectrum. So he's, he'll have an athlete, a politician, a, you know, religious person, a, you know, fitness. He can go anywhere, you yeah. know, so. Mm -hmm. And, and the reason why he can go anywhere totally is because he's an intelligent and, guy yeah. already. And then he learns all about this person. And, it, and it's just natural, right? You, that's the conversational piece is something that I think you need to have. Yeah, I think you sh or you should have it. Now, does that mean you can put the work in to become great at it and teach yourself? I think, I think Jordan talks about how he's an example of that. Yeah. Like he wasn't a great. I don't think he was great at conversation right away. He taught himself. That's why art. That's why when he built Art of Charm with his partners, sure, why it was sure, sure. such yeah. a big deal is because he le he learned steps to become that guy. He wasn't that guy naturally. Yeah. yeah, I think it's I think it's important though for somebody that's getting possibly into podcasting that either one you think about that or do you have that skill set naturally already or two are you willing are you to, willing to do yeah are you, you willing to do the work like, not sleep right yeah. it like, is work on this it is interesting the kinds of people that podcasting tends to attract though you know what I mean like. Yeah. You meet <laughs> growth-minded people. Well, growth-minded people were, you know, kind of weird. Yeah, I, I hate. I mean, I'm well, not saying this not, is negative. I, see, I think it's only weird right now because it's, it's still news. Early adopters. Yes, it's early adopters are always kind of weird because they're yeah. they're willing always. to they're willing, but it's growing. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the only point. reason why they're weird right that's now. That's why we love them. We I, that's why I've it. always loved them. Look at we we talked about it when we watched the the growth of the forum. We watched the type of people that were adding on to the page. You can just see the that in general, like the type of audience that we're getting is different than what it was when we, when we yeah. first started. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's less of a testament to us and more of a testament to what's happening in this podcasting space well, in it's general. Podcasting, yep. it's, a, it's an interesting space. What was that article I read from Forbes? Uh, I think I sent it to you guys. It was something like uh, advertise, sponsorship advertising and podcasts. And I think it was 2012 was something like 200 something million dollars. They're yeah. projecting it to be in 2020. Uh, over half a billion dollars. That's a major growth of, a huge of money that's going into podcasting yeah. because I think I think businesses and brands are starting to recognize it as a force, and that's only well, going mean, to attract we, more people to podcasting. Yeah, we keep speculating all the time about like how education is going to change. It's changing. You know, like it, yeah, like what, yeah. like people are gonna like realize one day. Oh shit! I can just go on a podcast and learn everything I need to know. Yep, yep, yep. On that one particular, yep. you know, specific subject. But I think I think as a business, it's uh, it's still a good. I think it's still a good time to get into pocket. It's definitely more competitive than it was when we started just three years ago. It's much more noisy today than it was. Yeah. Three years ago. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's really hard to come into a space without a either. A unique angle or a skill set that somebody else has a brought or a total different vision. I mean, and I remember when we all talked about this when we first started Mind Pump is I remember uh, and I remember actually it was Doug. Doug was really hard on this about like, you know, 
there needs to be like an overarching mission that we're trying to accomplish. That way we have something we're working towards and that's where people will get behind you on something versus mm -hmm. just something that you're tuning in to listen to because, oh, I like it, I'm entertained by it, or there's sure, good sure, information sure. there. Yeah, there's it's a like purpose there's, and a mission behind it. Yeah, exactly. There's a, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's a mission behind it. There's a purpose behind it. It now allows for other people to get behind something more than just the podcast yeah. itself. That's important, you know? man. Right, yeah. that's the mission statement. Yeah. Like That's when most businesses, they have to have... And they have to put it out there, so it's it's something that every like. Oh, I agree with that. And yeah. then now you're attracting more people as a result. I, of I feel like it's harder to fake podcasting than it is to fake any other medium. Well, almost, you know what I mean? Like I feel like you. Can, oh, absolutely. I feel like you can oh, fake absolutely. YouTube. Where you already see, you know, you already five, see the people that are trying to creep into yeah. it that yeah. already they dominated maybe YouTube or Instagram, and oh, then they try fun. and fuck with podcasting. It's like, oh, now you're gonna have to go have a whole conversation with somebody for like an hour. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> totally different than put than staging a photo. Hey, those first two minutes were great. By yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 I just want to give you a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's yeah. a hard, carry it for three hours. It's a much harder medium to, to fake, which is why I think if you're gonna enter into the space. You've got to find that 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 meaning or that purpose for yourself, and and it's got to be authentic because how the fuck are you gonna how the hell are you gonna conduct one hour thirty minute to ninety minute conversations weekly yeah. for years if it's not something that actually drives you? It's impossible. You it can't is. fake it for that. I mean, it's not gonna work. So that's why you have to find something that works for you. One of the you know here's a category of podcast that. I see just so many people jumping in because I don't. I feel like they just don't know what they want to do. It's this whole like li lifestyle, optimizing your life, and what does that mean? It's everything, and we'll talk about everything. And it's like, okay, yeah, it encompasses all yeah, of it. I feel like you just want to like, okay, you, you think you're cool, you're super cool, and so you want to have a podcast. You think people listen to because you're super cool, right? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. That's no. gonna, that's a difficult. That's a really difficult category of podcasting. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't understand. I'm pro it. I mean, I'm all for it. Yeah. I mean, I, I love the space growing and yeah. I love more people trying and attempting it. Here's the thing that's cool about it, too, is that it's not a lot of risk to see, you know? Mm -hmm. But I think a, what we see right now is a lot of people trying to do it and then realizing, like, either. Or they'll change their brand or direction. Or they start out as something, they, yeah. the, the subject matter wise, and then, you know, it turns into. I think that, like, the, mis, the missteps in it is not responding based off of your feedback you know like people a lot of times don't want to be criticized and you know understand what the audience really wants mm -hmm. from you or what they're picking up on the most from the most value they're getting yeah. and so they, they just keep wanting to do what they fucking want to do whereas you know that that i may also work. think there's i also think the opposite can be a problem too though where you you, you bend it every you know that's also every criticism and win absolutely you know because there has to be something i think some I, and i think with now i think that's more of an issue that uh, what yeah. sal's saying yeah. i think that's more of an issue right. today is yeah. that oh it was hard you it's turn like, on it yeah yeah like you, you try it for three years you know for three years straight and then see how you feel and see where you're at with it you yeah. know most people don't have the the ability to, to grind well, away you're just not confident in your message mm -hmm. you know if you're confident in your message who gives a fuck you know yeah, yeah. do it yeah right. well all of new media is just it's so fascinating to me uh, you know the direction it's going and how fast it's growing it's very very strange it's a completely different i mean some of the old rules apply but it's 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 so it's so different than than in some ways to old media it's it's a very interesting i mean anybody can enter it right not every anybody but There's compared to barriers. before yeah, compared to before barriers. anybody could enter it and Matt, you know how hard it was to get on the radio before? I know. That was impossible. We would have you know never. You know what's so weird? I mean, how do you even identify with, like, radio DJs at all? No. Like, nobody cares. At all? Like, nobody not cares. at all. No. I was looking at, like, some pictures on Instagram of some old, like, I used to listen to, like, KSJO and, you know, like, all these, like, uh, radio stations. Like, that was, like, uh, I would always, like, pay attention to shows yeah. and, like, Lamont Tonelli, like, all these things. Like, and it's, like, it's so weird now because it just seems like. When you listen to that kind of like dialogue, it's so. Well, many of them are all. Many of them also hold po podcasts. They're, they're, now they've switched. A lot of them are, yeah. yeah, so most of your your most popular DJs and stuff are radio DJs. Yeah. Also have a podcast that they host because if you got, you know, you got they you got, have translated that over. Oh yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, I mean, they're 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 just smart, right? If I'm a radio DJ right now and I have a job that I get paid one hundred seventy five thousand dollars a year to be a radio DJ, I love doing it. But also, the writing is on the wall that this shit's changing. But see, I feel like yeah, the, I mean, so they just jumped over. But like podcasting itself was totally different than radio. No, they're not jumping over. They're doing it simultaneously. 
So they're trying out a whole message. Of a lot of them will have their own yeah, podcast. Yeah, their own thing. It's a different show. Uh, so let's say you're a DJ at you know whatever station and you're popular, but you see the writings on the wall. So, you're going to start oh, so your own podcast. you're testing the water with the podcast you're just gonna have while your, they're having the show. You'll run them at the same time. Bro, mm-hmm. it's it's really smart. It's just yeah. another it's just another medium, right? right? Okay, so you're seeing athletes even starting to do this. So yeah. you see have like a Draymond Green who has a podcast, right? Yeah. Oh, really? Are athletes really starting yeah. to do this? Now imagine oh, you, got, wow. you got 2 million followers plus, or I don't even know where Draymond on it. Right now, but he's got millions. He's on national TV all the time. So he's got already the, a huge platform to the top of the funnel. Yeah. And then you bring the people that are like super hardcore fans and want to know everything about him. Yeah. So may, I don't know what that distills down to, but that's a very hard, that's a rap, that's a crazy network of people that you now have and that you can build a business off of that. Mm. And you yeah. see all of them starting to do it. I remember my agent buddy when we. Interesting. Uh, my buddy Wynn. You said your agent buddy. Agent. Okay. Agent buddy. I thought you, meant, you said you're Asian buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just start. I, like, I don't just say I'm white people. Yeah. You know? I'm just going to put that out there. <laughs> hey, everybody. <laughs> Making sure everybody knew that. Yeah. yeah. I hang yeah. out with other people. My Asian buddy over there. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. No, but when we first uh, when we first started hanging out, this was like, God, it was a good five years ago, four or five years ago, or whenever it was when I first. Uh, Started to do Instagram and Facebook, social and media, yeah, Instagram. social media, right? You or use the utilize them, right? It was around before that, yeah, yeah. Before I, but I didn't utilize. No, it you were business. paying attention to it as a business, yeah, yeah. So when I when I started to do that, <clears throat> that's when he introduced me to um, Marquette Marquette King from the Raiders. Total name drop stuff right now, right? Not meaning, <laughs> not meaning to do that. Yeah, we well, don't really do that, but yeah. go for it. Yeah, yeah well, we normally don't do yeah. that, right? So I feel okay about it. But he's introducing me to him because he wants he wants me to show him what I'm what I'm starting to do and the importance of what I'm trying to do like back then and he's trying to convince these athletes that they need to be doing that yeah, right yeah, now yeah, yeah. because 5 6 years ago you just weren't seeing that yep. yeah i mean yep. there's sure there might have been a handful a couple <laughs> well, here they're back. always looking at ways to help their you know client monetize well that's yeah that his the way his job is changing now like yeah. that's that's more of what the agents doing now is finding other Teaching ways them ways to because what's his name did this really well. Who's the comedian? Part of the warrior. Turn yourself into a brand. Who's the the the, the he was in, he was with them in the in Jumanji with Dwayne uh, the Rock. What's his name? The he, comedian. Yeah. The, the small dude. Well, this is part of why he does it very well. Where he right. connects Kevin Hart. Kevin, Kevin Hart, Hart is the best at it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You eliminate the yeah, middleman. You you build up that audience. You don't need oh, his social just, media need. currency. Well, he, he holds separate completely from the his. Warriors a, are an example awesome. of why they can build a team the way they are because everyone has a, a salary cap. You can only spend so much money. Well, how do we attract all that? Well, one of the ways is being in a big city with lots of opportunities. We're in the Silicon Valley, so like that's why New York. Uh, Miami, you know, LA and like Silicon Valley are like desirable places for these athletes. They'll potentially take $20 million less on a contract because I'm in LA, Hollywood. I'm going to get wow, connected. You can with, do business yeah, while and, you're here. Of course. Yeah. So you know there's backdoor yeah, that stuff makes, that happens. You, you know there's backdoor stuff. It's like we, we, we asked Kevin Durant to come over here and say, yeah. hey, yeah. come work for this. But I'm also going to introduce you to these three VCs that are starting up these co- or that are connected to these companies. Interesting. You put a million of your dollars in of that. Of course that's, that's happening. Yes. Uh, that's course. how that's what how What about can, so LeBron? Do you think he might go absolutely. to LA then? That's why, it, that's why that? people think it's yeah. a very desirable yeah, place yeah, for him. I would think so. Yeah. And they can take less money because you can backdoor do things. Mm-hmm. But the agent's job It's funny, is, too, because you can feel you the You almost energy. want that for the athletes, too, dude, because you got to think long-term, man. Like, it's great to be the hero and... and Absolutely. I'm all pro and it. Go I think it's awesome. That, oh, dude, but dude. Now, it, takes less, it takes less power from... It takes the power away from the NBA. I love that. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I love that. And, yes. and let's be... I mean, and, and athletes historically have been terrible I always with, want with how they retire. Me. Yeah. They've been terrible with it. Like, you, you hear you hear about a lot of them going bankrupt and stuff like that, and it's because they didn't manage it well or they didn't get themselves set up or... You know, whatever. So I, I yeah. I'm all for that. We pick but on we pick on athletes, but I would argue almost anybody that has gone from a certain amount of money to the amount of money that they make, right? So whatever that ratio yeah. is, like yeah. from an average income of less than six figures to all of a sudden making millions of dollars. I don't care if you're an athlete or not. I bet you you can look at that percentage of people that end up losing all of it. It's probably so that's why we and we see that with the lottery. Mm-hmm. We see that in these things where people get a whole bunch of money out of nowhere. It's like it's almost human nature to do It could that. be that it just came too fast. Yeah. yeah. You know, that could be part of it, that it came so too what fast. What do I do with this lightning rod? Like, yeah. oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's funny. You were talking about L.A. and how that's such a place for those connections and stuff. You can feel that energy when you're there. And I don't mean it in a positive sense. I, f- I mean it in the sense that you can feel everybody's there to everybody's try to... there to try and get to try to on leverage, your bandwagon. Yeah, yeah to yeah, leverage yeah. each other and 
what do you have for me? And feels, I've heard stories of like there's a guru for a guru for a guru. And yeah. There's this whole train of like <laughs> people that are following you around and shit. Guru train. The guru train. <laughs> I don't know. Sounds like a good point. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> Justin almost yeah. brought it, watered that. I mean, uh, it <laughs> almost did. Yeah, almost I did. brought it back. You yeah. did. I feel like it, it seems pretentious at times, but then I'm also smart enough to know that it's such a big city that that could just be my experiences. Of course. That I've had, and I could have taken a whole different path of yeah, experiences of course. within this giant but city. But there's definitely... And th- say, oh my God, it's the most real, awesome experience in the city that Maybe. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Absolutely, yeah, yeah, you yeah, could. Yeah, yeah. It's a, diff- it's a totally different vibe from where we're at, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. You know, it's Big nor- time. Northern California is a completely different... No. Did you see that they wanted to... The, on the ballot... What was uh, that? They were they, splitting what? it up? Yeah, uh, on, the, on, the, on the ballot, they actually got this on the ballot, so they got enough signatures oh my God. to get this particular measure on the ballot, and it would divide California up into three Californias. Did you know this? Mm-mm. Did you guys see this? Yeah, I saw... So, this, so Northern California... I saw the graphs. There's going to be Northern California, Southern California, and New California. <laughs> New California. <laughs> So what's new? Well, yeah, what's new? I gotta look this it. up. Who gets to, who gets to which be new? one is new? Yeah, I gotta I gotta look this up because I feel like Silicon Valley would be new. Well, let's talk about this they, because they'd want to be new. Yeah, yeah. Let me look it up. Three Californias. I'm gonna look this up. I feel like I could divide our state up if I had to. Okay, okay. Hold on. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you a picture of. But what it would look. No, I, I see what they were doing there. It's definitely Silicon Valley is like by itself. You know, then you have like all Southern and then kind of like Central Valley and then the top was like. Like Mendocino and San Francisco, well, yeah. I mean, Chico, I can, Trinity, yeah, all, like the all hills, that yeah. was like its own yeah, Shasta, almost Oregon kind of people. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. here's the pictures of them. So that's Northern California. Let me see right there, which it looks like is like San Francisco, San Jose, the Peninsula, whatever. This is the New California. It's like on the coast, but in the middle. Which mm. I think, Justin. You may actually be driving into the new California. So you work in the Northern California. <laughs> I think you drive into. Oh, it's messed up. Bro, you could live in two different states yeah. or you can live in and work in two different states if this I'll passes. I'll like a toll. If this passes. It'd be bullshit. It'd probably but, fuck you is what would happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then you got Southern California. which zoning is, issues. Which is like obviously San Diego, but then also kind of that central, like deeper part of California that's not near the coast. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But it's so different. It is true, though. We are very different. Well, but God, why, this, this, why are they even bothering with this. Why? Because politicians of course think it's Separate smart. divide. Yeah. Separate divide. Yeah. There's, I mean, de- look, there's definitely a different... There is, well, I think there's also... We just p- all do something awesome I together? also think there's people in California that do not feel like they're being represented by sure. California politics. Like, let's 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 be real. Like, California, sure. California has been a very, very dominant liberal state for a long time, for decades. Well, you don't but think of segments, California as, as like a farm. You know, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. There's parts of California that are very huge, very different, very California. conservative, yeah. very, right? And so they don't feel like they're being represented. Uh, you have area, you have parts of California that have way a lot of money, like way a lot of money. And then there's parts of California that they don't have yeah. that much money at all. Yeah. Like you could, I could drive from. It's very diverse. Oh, it's it's very diverse. So I can understand. But that's that. what I like about it. Well, and well, no. What I was to say is sometimes splitting up means that you're closer to your representatives, and they they'll reflect the people. That's why states exist to uh, begin with. That's represent- why there's different states yeah. anyway, or yeah. not why they exist, but why you yeah. know what's kind of good about them is they can they can reflect the people a little bit closer or whatever. Uh-huh. But I don't know. Three is, it, is, it a, is it an ideal way to do things in the first place? What to have states? Oh, I think so. Why? I think it's brilliant that we have states. Absolutely brilliant. Well, they're, they're representatives from each state that go in and, and then pass laws on our behalf. Mm-hmm. So I, I really appreciate that for sure. And it also, the well, way it, 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 it allows you to listen, like, if there were no states, California, New York, and Texas would run the country. There's so many people in those, in, and so much money in those states that all the other states. Nobody. It, they, that's a really good point. They that's wouldn't a, matter. That's a very good point in itself, right yeah. there. That's, they, a very, that's a very good point. Yeah, like like yeah. people in New Mexico, Mississippi, fucking. Yeah. They wouldn't. They, they wouldn't matter. Yeah, they wouldn't have a voice. No, they wouldn't have a voice because, yeah. like, look at California. By its, I think California alone, right. if I'm not mistaken, is like, isn't it the sixth largest economy in the world? Huh. If wow. California was a country, right. it would be the sixth biggest country in terms of economic output. Yeah. In the world, is that true? Yeah, I believe so. Doug's really? nodding. Yeah, so that means it is. Yeah, true. I think it's actually the fifth. Fifth, really? Uh, the top ten. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think it starts with. Well, 
Let me do a little more research yeah, here. You know what it is? We have shitty t- shitty internet here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd help you guys out, we, but I've been phoneless. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay, here it is. Uh, this was on May 4th. California has surpassed the United Kingdom oh, yeah. to become the world's fifth largest That's right. economy. Wow. The, the UK actually had an economy bigger than California by itself USA. until recently. USA. California <laughs> makes... Know, I, California. I feel yeah. like, uh, <laughs> it's the tech industry. Is, it, you, well, we had Hollywood, we had production, we have media, and then, fuck, man, tech is just... Yeah. I mean, that's insane. Well, that's why. That's yeah. insane amount of money. That's why I, mean? I think... I all think, the, the tech giants are here. Yes. Yes. I, that's why I think we'll we'll end up not all of them, but a lot of them. I like think, Amazon's up. I think, we, up I think we'll surpass L A. What as wealth and money and all we that already by, have by a long shot. Oh, North, you mean Silicon yeah. Valley? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah we yeah, for yeah, sure yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're the richest by uh, uh, sil- was it San- uh, <laughs> San- <laughs> so terrible? We are. We're, we're I know, like it's us. <laughs> yeah. We're not even. In tri- <laughs> I was firing none of that. <laughs> Tri- that's tribalism right there, right? <laughs> Fuck you, man. We got put on the jersey, dude. I played. Hey, man. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's definitely some. some how funny is I that? I wore a human? black turtleneck. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like Steve Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? uh, what? How funny is that? Well, right? we do it with sports too. They yeah. remember someone called yeah. me out on the forum because I'm I, I was going back and forth about something to do with <laughs> the Warriors. You yeah. know, and I and I, when I talk about the Warriors, I talk about like us. We yeah. what yes. we did. I know. You know exactly. The reason why we did this, we was, didn't you know, do shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what pisses me off? Is yeah, when, they didn't call me. We fucking dunked on so hard. What pisses me off is when people are proud of shit that they have no yeah like you we know can, i can laugh at it yeah. like like okay yeah. like like my heritage right. is italian i get all that but to say i'm like proud of being italian like i didn't do anything i, just, I, was, <laughs> I didn't do anything i was born i was born into yeah. this yeah I'm, what are you gonna do I'm, I'm proud of just you know yeah. chance just, just proud yeah <laughs> i'm proud of the chance yeah that happened i had no choice in you this. know Hey, how is it? How is it without your phone, Justin? Oh, it's it's an interesting experience, dude. Man. The funniest fucking thing <laughs> ever, right? So we're sitting on the couch and we're having conversation. We're doing work, and then we took a break and we're we're all on our phones. <laughs> and I look over at Justin's reading a magazine. I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> like tell an old ass magazine. Like I can't tell you the last time I read a magazine. Like, <laughs> I was tripping out on it. And it was, was Vanity Fair. Some bullshit. Yes, yeah, <laughs> bullshit. I needed some kind of entertainment. Something Bro, to look at. Dude. Your shit time has been cut down by eighty percent. I didn't even you want went to spend the bathroom. Time in there. It's so boring. <laughs> you, you, you yesterday, go. yesterday he's like, like yesterday. I wait till like the last minute. You know, you're like, okay, it's gonna be, uh, okay, and I go. Whoosh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no like, uh, I don't want to spend any time there. No, myself. because there's nothing to do. Nothing. It's there's nothing fucking, to do. It's just this is weird. It's are weird you re- being bored again, dude? Are you reading the shampoo bottle in the bathroom like we did back in the day when we were kids? You're only on. Is it been a full 24 hours? How many? How many hours has it been? Because yesterday, uh, since we dropped off the car, yeah. So it's been about 24 Bro, hours. Bro, it was. We're on our way up here. We're driving, and we're already like 45 minutes into our drive, and then Jess is like, "Fuck, dude!" Because I left my phone. <laughs> I left my phone like, in my car. Like nor I don't. And I, I went through like different phases. I can like, hear in your voices, voice. Like, you know, like I was like panic, like like searching everywhere <laughs> for it, and then I was just like immediately like, "Well, what's the worst?" You know, like, like, yeah, so it's, it's that- in my truck, but you know. Uh, like, people can get a hold of me through sound at them or whatever. Like, I'm going to have to be that annoying guy that borrows the phone. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go through that part of it. And then I'm like, oh, my God, I'm not posting on, the in- on Instagram. I have no stories coming up. You know, <laughs> This is all content. We're here for content. Like, oh, fuck, you know, I'm missing out. Like, you guys are making memes without me. You know, I'm just, like, dying inside. Yeah, you know, that's what bothered him more. I know. Yeah, that's, that's the that's moment. Like, that's, there, like, one yeah. of his funnest. That was. That I was, was so pissed. That was like, I would have had point. so much fun with it. He was so mad. He was, like, disappointed yeah. in him. Yes. I would have been uh, so much better at this. Bro, I was those, like, you guys, please. Bro, those memes are so money. I got to look at them again. Those are the most money memes of all time. Yeah. Well, well some they, they of them, nailed yours. Let's see, just Adams was great. They this, did nail mine. Yeah. Dude, you're, okay. What was, was on? I don't know about the plunger, though. <laughs> no, it's hilarious. So Justin's had Han Solo, a yeah. flannel, a, big, a big block of cheese, yeah. and a plunger. That's so... <laughs> a plunger. <laughs> and it says on there the Justin... Essentials. The Justin Andrews starter pack. So this all started because... One of our listeners, uh, who was it that did this for us? We got to give him a shout out. Juan, Juan, Juan. Yeah. Juan. He also did that Mad Mike pick. For he us. did the sa- awesome. he did a Sal one first, and what was on mine? I forgot what mine was. It was Sardi- wife beater, sardines, wife beater, sambas, and then, oh, and then the third rail, the third rail, yeah. and then Adams is accurate <laughs> Rogaine's. <laughs> uh, butt wipes, that's a right. whole bunch of shoes and weed. It took like three to get to that. That's perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there were three yeah, iterations yeah. before that one came out. Yeah. Well, well, the first two were too nice to me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream and red velvet cake. You made you made our because everybody bro, everybody's scared, scared, of you scared to fucking joke with you, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> Your two yeah. cakes through with we, we, yeah, yeah, hey, they're not sure you can hey, take hey, it. Hey, you know it mean? worked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Dude, on the uh, forum today, they were talking about that time you went out there and hammered that. Oh god, <laughs> no, oh, bro. We could bring that. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't know about that for sure. A lot of people don't know that that happened, but that was hilarious. <laughs> Sometimes Adam feels the need to lay it's, the hammer down. It's the one time you went off. Uh, yeah, I was like right in the middle of it. Like, yeah, I don't. You know what though? I tell you, happen. I don't. One, I don't think we'd have to do it today, but. Uh, I at the time when I did that, and it was funny because I did do it before Sal got to work. Yeah, because so one of our forum, we got to tell the listeners who no, don't know what's going on. One of our forum members actually went on. We were going to have a guest. It was Lane Norton? Oh, it was Lane? Yes. Yeah, it was Lane. And it was the first time we were going to meet with them, and you know we disagreed on a few things, but we re- we was well. Here's the, there was yeah. exchanges online. Here's why. It, here's why. Here's why it pissed me off so yeah. much. Okay, because yeah. that was early on when Lane and I were starting to become friends. Like I was just starting to communicate with him back and forth, text yeah, yeah, yeah. and do, and like we. I wouldn't consider us where we're at now, right? Where mm-hmm. I think we. Well, now out. we're actually boys. Yeah. Right, right. Now we're cool. At that time was right when the relationship was kind of kind of building. Yeah. And and I'm and you know me, I've never not said to Lane how I feel about Lane or any thoughts I have on anything he has to say, and I would never hide that. And so sure. it's came right. out on the show before where I disagree with something that he's doing or yeah. I talk about him some way that I talk about him when he's here. Right, right, right. And this kid had, had felt the need to go and try and st- talk shit and start a fight. Yeah, between. He, he, he was messaging Lane saying right. stuff like, oh, they're going to ambush you or they right. just want and you on exactly. the show to He was on scheduled you. and this at this time we I think we were actually <laughs> paying for his flight he was from giving Florida. Him cold feet. So uh, we're flying Lane in. We've already bought a, a flight for him to come in and he's coming and, and stay and so he's coming in to see us. This is the very first time we're, we're going to hang out and this kid's over there trying to sabotage it Thinking yeah. that, and I'm like, you fucking dumb shit. Dude, so we're the, about to provide a great interview. Yeah. For you so right here's, now. so here's yeah, the I funny was thing. So angry, so, so cock blocking this. Yeah. So yeah. the funny thing is, and this kid was in our forum, and so, <laughs> so Adam and Justin are at work early, and <laughs> you're pissed off, and you're like, I'm gonna get on the forum. I'm fucking hammer on this kid right now. Yeah. And you wanted so to I was do like, it. Wait till I get you, there. Like, you no. wanted, to, yeah, you wanted to do it before I got there because yeah. you do it. Yeah. So I'm in my car and I'm watching the live video of you. <laughs> Yeah. Ripping into someone yep. on in the forum, and I'm looking at this video driving. And I'm like, "Stop! Stop! Don't do it! Stop!" And I'm driving there too late. <laughs> too late. And Justin was so uncut. Well, <laughs> Justin we, was like, "Oh well, my we god!" We even got into it well, afterwards. Like, we even got happening. into it afterwards. We you're did, like, yeah, because you're like, "You shouldn't have done that." I'm like, "Fuck yeah, we should have done that." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stay in. <laughs> Stay in. It's Need in. Because here's the thing: what I was wor- I really was. I was concerned that. I didn't want like this culture to be okay that you could do that. That we have guests that we have on our show, and yeah. because you know, that you're going to go talk yeah. shit and cause that was a boundary that was crossed and it needed to be addressed. And you're in our private forum. Like yeah. I can't control the whole well, world. Well, we consider I can people- control someone who's in our private forum, who's yeah. close to us, and I've helped you out and I've done yeah, things for yeah. you. Like yeah, yeah, I can yeah. at least ask for that respect. There's definitely there's definitely people no, that needed to be checked. Yeah, and the forum is yeah. like our. It's like our. Uh, it's the closest thing to us, I, sh- I would say. It's like and I our believe, family. I believe the kid got into the forum for free. It was something that we allowed into someone who's, who got <laughs> free access to that, too, yeah, on yeah, top yeah. of that. Other people pay to be in there, and you're doing that. You could be potentially ruining it for everybody A relationship. Else. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. Not, not cool. That was the point. <laughs> not cool, bro. Hilarious, though. No, no, and good, this, and this cool, is my though. sandbox. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. yeah. Get the fuck Look out of my shit's sandbox. shit's in my lawn. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, get out of here. Exactly. It was one of those, you know? But I felt like... I felt like... It was received okay, right? Don't you feel like I don't I think so? You know, I, there's there's you know there's three of us, so if one of us goes off, it's okay because there's always the other ones to kind of pull things back in, right? You know what I mean? If we all I knew did how that, it was going to play out, that's why I, yeah. I wasn't. Oh worried. yeah, it'd be ugly if all three of us. If did all that. three of us, oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, and we all have our own. We all have our own triggers, our own like point. Not triggers, I should say. We all have our limits. And they're all a little bit different. Like, there's certain things sure. that are going to push us over the limit. And, you know, and I think that's the important thing to say here sure. is that, like, there's, and I think that's what it means to stand for something. Yeah, and I, yeah. in relationships, for sure. relationships, communication, radical honesty, all these things are very important values yep. for me. Yep, 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 yep. And you, you're jeopardizing that, or you're you're fucking with my values and my integrity, and my, my business, my character, and my business. Yep, Many yep. things you're fucking with. I'm well, not, I think the and biggest. I stand for that. I'm going to say something. I yeah, think like, the it's, biggest it's, problem, it's my character, unintentionally or intentionally, well, we still I, have to recognize that and like put an end to it. Here yeah. was the biggest problem. The biggest problem wasn't that you know he's going on there saying do go on mind pump and mind pumps this that. That's not the problem. It's that he's mischaracterizing yes. us so badly yeah. because. 
There is nothing that we've like. The, if we say something on a show, we know it's a fucking public show. It's not <laughs> yeah. we're trying to hide anything. I know, dude. I've said that on a show. I have said many times I disagree with certain people's stances, right. who I also consider friends, and who I will say to their. It is saying it to their face. It's on a public podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So by you messaging Lane and saying, "Ooh, they're gonna ambush you," like. I said it on the fucking podcast. We we disagree on artificial sweeteners, for example. We yeah, think yeah. IIFYM can turn into a fucking eating disorder. Like Part we've of said it. all this, and I say, you know, so what's lock the, the door, Adam. Yeah. I, I also recognize yeah, too the, the, the part on me, right? It obviously it was a perfect storm for that kid because of the timing <laughs> yeah. that it happened was where where I was in. He doesn't know where I, I think I, you said on the video. Don't you poke the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't poke the bear. I was like, oh my god. You don't poke the there bear. was a part in that video where you were going up. By the way, it's been uh, it's, we took it off yeah, the forum. Yeah, Sorry, it's not so, <laughs> only the OGs we're saw. We're not going to repeat that one. Yeah, there was a, Justin. The my favorite part of that video was yeah. watching Justin because there, there was that one part, one part where you got unhinged, yeah. and you could see Justin's like, oh fuck, like oh, what do I do now? Here we go. I got to pull it back in, and yeah. you did. You tried to pull I it. Tried back. to pull it back. Hey in. guys, what we're trying to say Listen, is what Adam. <laughs> yeah. uh, what Adam was trying to do here, we just want to recognize that yes. we were wrong yeah, yeah. and that we didn't appreciate that. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh, it's like it's like when you had a staff, you know, when you had a staff, and totally. you had to go off on them, every, you know, every once in a while, and I, you know, that was it's, what do you what is that it's about human us? beings? What do you dude. what do you think that is? What do you mean? Do you think that's because it's human nature to want like to uh, yeah. almost like conquer and submit and like like that alpha alpha like no, instinct? I th- no, I think I think you have to you have to show that you're someone uh, not that not to be contended with. You're somebody that is. You know, you can't just be a jellyfish. You know what I mean? And that's okay to show that. You have to show that. You have to show that you're... Like, look, I'm going to stand up for myself. I'm going to say what I believe. Know that I will defend myself and be assertive. That's it. But also know that I'm a kind, empathetic, good it's just person. Like a, it's like that's a all golden retriever showing his fangs. Well, again, yeah. again, yeah, again like- <laughs> I think it, it, it's different for every person, and it goes based off of yeah. your values and wh- what you see. And of that, course. You just, that happened to be someone who touched on something. You know yeah, 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 yeah. that we haven't we haven't had a lot of issues where somebody is, you know, attacked or did something that could potentially harm the business or harm my character, you know, yeah, and yeah. with a relationship. Or just mischaracterize with it. A, yeah, with a with a relationship that I value. Like I, I could give two shits about someone I don't value. Go talk yeah. shit, do that, so whatever that but I value this relationship mm-hmm. and you're trying to you're trying to sabotage it, you right. know. By causing shit, that's not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not okay Slimy. with that. Right, right. And at the same time, too, be in my private forum and be considered part of our network. Yeah, this and, isn't fucking Jerry Springer. Like, yeah, right. you know, like it's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might have worked for that environment, but I wonder how many ours. people don't even know who that is now. <laughs> Damn it! Why? Every time, yeah, dude, if you don't know what that keep is, checking me on go on YouTube and no, look does up it, old Jerry. Doesn't, uh, doesn't he still have? Doesn't it still repeat? He was like on a show? mayor no, or somewhere. Doesn't, doesn't he, he still repeat on TV? What a terrible! Yeah. You know what? You know what? It makes me so sick about shows like that. It's not the show. It's the fact that there were enough people interested in watching that that it was a show. Yeah, it's a reflection. It's like the lowest common denominator. Dude. It just it's a it's a it's a reflection. Everybody you know I mean? just has this primal instinct to want to see shit happen. Yeah, because at one at some point, because you know Jerry Springer's show up uh, when it first started was a talk show. Yeah, and then it turned yeah, into how like, did it get so ridiculous? Because it got ratings. Oh yeah, it was like giving the people what they want. That's like the ultimate example right there. Well, we yeah. see conflict. With these social right? media people. Yep, Don't we yep. always see conflict? You yeah. know what? It's so he's so right. People blame social media and say it's so stupid. Bullshit. Before social media, we had. S- Maury Povich mm-hmm. and Jerry Springer. Mm-hmm. We had tabloids. Mm-hmm. New media is there's it's it's it still changed. it's still it reflecting nothing's yeah. changed. It's still reflecting people. People still interested. And in what, shit. what you find that's disgusting in media, what you find so repulsive about media, the reason why you find it so repulsive and so ugh, it's because it's what's in you. It's what's in, yeah. It's within us. It is. It's a reflection of society. That's all. It's a, and diff- I, it's a different part of us. Yeah, you know, like you, we're, we're. You don't like to recognize it, but you're attracted to it still. Yeah. yeah well, even if it's not you, like us as a as humans. Us. Yeah. Us as, as yeah. a society. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's a yeah. reflection. It's still the majority. You're the minority for thinking that it's not. God. At what point yeah. do you think? How do you think we'll ever get to the point where we don't? No. <laughs> no. That's that's the problem, bro. That's even my problem with when we talk when we yeah. when we, you get political and you talk about free market is unfortunately there is a more of a majority of people that need to and want to be led. Yeah. Oh yeah, and be told what to do and yeah. to be separated just and, I just to be, sure. and to be put in boxes yeah. and to be categorized. I just don't think we should give people the power to force other people to do things. Right. That's what I don't like because 
it's funny. Human behavior is very interesting. You, you have individual behavior, and then people start to act differently when there's a mob behind them or when they feel like – it's interesting. Like, like nobody would ever come up to you and say, give me your money, regardless of what the cause is. Like let's say I said, give me your money so I could feed the poor, and they hold a gun to your head. Like people would still consider that theft, right? Like that – no, no, no. You can't go steal that guy's money. Even if you want to feed people That's an interesting image. or you want to build stuff, is, right? you can't. You still can't do that. You can't go steal money, money from people. I'm going to give this to <laughs> yeah. you know, orphans. Yeah, you still can't what? do that like, regardless, right? Is that, what's, uh, is that what made the Robin Hood story so unique? You know what Robin Hood mm. – people got Robin Hood wrong. Robin Hood, Robin Hood was stealing money from the government and giving it back to the people. It was the government that was taking it from the people. He was taking it back mm. from, the, from the government. It wasn't the stealing monarchies. from the rich, giving to the poor. It was stealing from the government and giving it back to the people. Yeah. Is what it was. Is that true? Taxing. Yeah, that's the old story. That's the true well, old story. They were taxing story. the shit out of everybody. That's the old true story. But I mean, like I said, like nobody would know. ever know that's nobody would fact. ever come up to you and, yeah. and and tell you, give me your money, you know, or I'm gonna shoot you, regardless of the cause, everybody would think that's theft. But if they if they do it like through proxy, you know what I mean? Through like all of us are voting that this is okay. Now I feel okay with the fact that I'm it's kinda weird, right? Yeah, no. yeah. It it's is interesting weird. how like Think about We're this. We're okay with it because, like, you know, all my neighbors are cool. No, my belief. Well, P- Peterson talks about the the natural the natural hierarchy, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some were just some were just meant to yeah. be there. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. That's hard. That's and hard. We need for, to be civilized, hard. and how do we create? No, there's this there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't think we should allow structures to be put in place that allow people to tyrannize each other. That's all. Yeah. I think there should be structures, yeah. but I think the structure should exist solely to protect against that. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, here's the deal. Like, if enough people vote that everybody in the world should get a certain kind of haircut, or excuse me, everybody in this country should get a certain haircut, that could potentially fucking happen. As crazy as that sounds. I feel like they've tried that. That's weird, right? <laughs> that could potentially. So we should have things in, and, and we do, we have things in place to protect against that kind of stuff. Imagine but, if everybody had like a little stash, you know. Like, <laughs> oh, that's horrible. You know, North Korea has, um, they have like, offic- they have haircuts that are approved by the government and other haircuts that are illegal. What? <laughs> oh yeah, illegal haircuts. Uh-huh. Oh man. Oh yeah. You, there's, there's. You're a real rebel. There's state, there's state approved haircuts. I think they have like three or four haircuts Definitely you can get can't if you're have a man. mohawk. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. You can't. If you get a mohawk, it's, it's you're, illegal. You're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's illegal. Don't you think that's what how some of these trends start like over here? Is yeah. because it's so it represents rebellion somewhere else, totally. and so that's what that makes it so popular. Well, even because it, we're relatively free, free, even in a free, yeah, because yeah. we have nothing to rebel over, so we have to find sure. something, right? Sure. So I'm going to put a mohawk on. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Free. Uh, oh, of course. If you were expressing, yeah. if you were expressing a, your, if you were being rebellious in North Korea, that may be just that you say out loud that you disagree with the government. That may be like a really big form of rebellion. Yeah. In America, that's not. Like, oh, I don't like the president. Who gives a shit? Nobody cares. There's fucking comedy shows about that. It's not that rebellious. You got to do something else that's really crazy. Yeah, well, they they shot people for not crying hard enough. Right? What? what? <laughs> Wait, where? Google it. Yeah, in North <laughs> Google Korea. Google it. For not crying hard. Oh, when he when what's when his name the, died? Yeah, when Kim Jong is is it ill or or Un? It's ill, right? The first one. Ill was the dad. Yeah. So when he died, there was like a gathering, and they were they were like monitoring everybody to see how hard they were like weeping, and you know. Uh, you had to cry. Yeah, you had to cry really hard or they'd take you aside. Could you imagine growing up what in a, a society like that? Imagine being born being born into a society like that. That has got to be the I can't most even imagine. insane thing of all time where everything is controlled. What's, what, what I'd be most curious about, though, is how insane does it even feel for them or does it feel insane at all? They probably don't know like right. any different. No, I, I think... Oh, no, dude. You know how much and, psychological... like. Training they have to go through when when North Koreans escape to uh, like to chi- through China and then come to the U.S. Yeah, it takes them years, and they so many times they never yeah. really understand like what the fuck how, happened. Right? How could you let people in? Yeah, ever. like it's weird. Like imagine this: imagine your entire life, you're told what you should do, how you should act, what you know, whatever, what what you can say, what you can't say, and then all of a sudden everybody's like, "Yeah, do whatever you want." Yeah. Like, well, what do you mean? Tell me what to do. No, no, no. Like. <laughs> You know, yeah. no, no, do what you want. Like, I don't know what that means. I don't know what I like. Oh, yeah, they've never, like, practiced that skill. I don't know what I like. I don't yeah. know what I want. So please tell me. You know what I mean? That could be a, that could be a, that could be a, uh, psychologically speaking, that could be very difficult yeah. for people to deal with. It's kind of crazy, right? No, it's very crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. It's also why I feel like, again, why people, some people want to be led, you know? That's why, I mean, like, like, let's. Some naturally we're meant not to, and that mm-hmm. we're meant to, to. Oh, no, all of us follow. All, all of us want to follow and, and sure. learn from. Yeah, I, I get that. That's, that's not a problem. It's just the whole force thing. I really think if you want humans to evolve, you have to 
let them be free enough to express how they're going to grow and learn, but limit them by limit them so that they don't hurt each other and steal from each other. And if you let that happen, we tend to like evolve and figure shit out. I mean, we're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, and we tend to make mistakes along the way, but we tend to figure shit out pretty well when you when you let us do that. Plus, it's morally speaking, it's like. How fucking arrogant is it to say that you know what's best for other people? I don't know what's yeah. best for you. No, I, I can have my own opinions. I've always thought that. Yeah. You know, I have my own opinions and stuff. But right, right. You could try this. That'll probably help your life out a little yeah. bit. But here's who, the my fuck, opinion. who the fuck am I, right? But yeah. Like, yeah. like here's the here's deal. Here's what works for me. Like, or, here's yeah. the deal. Let's take an easy example. Let's look at an alcoholic. Let's look at an alcoholic. Now, from the outside, I could clearly be like, Pfft, that's terrible for you. Alcohol is not the answer. But maybe it is the answer for that person. Maybe they're in so much fucking pain yeah. that drinking alcohol is the answer for them. And that's what's keeping them going i mean who knows you know what i'm saying we don't know we don't know we don't have the answers for other people i think people have to figure it out for themselves yeah it's a very arrogant way of uh, of thinking it's very no, controlling that's a crazy analogy to give but i think it's a great way to have <laughs> i think it's a great way to have empathy <laughs> you yeah. sure yeah i think it's a great way to teach yourself empathy for others like that because right. we don't know we never know the full story you know no 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 and i think it's crazy how we we don't understand that we own our <clears throat> bodies that part's wild to me like imagine if somebody had a truck they owned a truck, right? And then they were like, I'm going to paint the truck purple. And the government's like, no, you can't do that. We'll throw you in jail. We'd all be like, that's fucking crazy. Why would you throw that guy in jail for, for painting as he owns his own truck? But that same guy can be like, I want to stay in my room. I want to be in my house. I'm not going to go outside. I'm going to be in my house. And I want to take drugs for my body. I just want to experiment with my body. We're like, no, 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 we're going to throw you in jail. And, no, and nobody, a lot of people think that's okay. That's weird. Yeah. Like, what, what do you own more than your body? <laughs> You, there's, you don't own anything more than that. You know what I mean? It's really weird. It's so controlling that we control people that way. It, do you think it's well, controlling or do you think it was necessary for us to evolve as a society? Otherwise, most people would self-destruct. No, no. I don't know. Yep, so? It's their, that's, not, that's the point. Like, I well, can, do you think a lot of it, though, comes from you it's know, up like to you to the, the parenting mindset that never it's sort of... Yeah, like so, if I'm trying to protect everybody, like so, if my thinking for my kids, like there's a certain age limit where I want to make sure that I instill everything I can, so they understand, you know, like the consequences. I do this, then this happens. I do this, mm -hmm. then this happens, mm -hmm. and then eventually, I mean, the more you can get comfortable with letting them figure that out themselves, obviously, the better it becomes. But I, I feel like a lot of people like they, they keep that mentality well, yeah. of like trying to. Make sure, like, you know, I want everybody to be I mean, safe and happy. I mean, it's just weird to me. It's just very strange. Like, like, look at prostitution. I think it's so fucking weird that we will, can, we have thrown people in jail for doing something that people do all the time, that it's your body and people choose to do it and we don't make it illegal until you pay for it. Hmm. You know what I mean? Then we make it, and I know why. It's because people don't want to see it or at least they don't want to acknowledge that people do it, but they do it anyway. It's just very controlling. No, We're right. very, very controlling. Uh, well, prostitution, I think, is different for me than than drugs is because I feel like part of us putting the laws in place, and I know most of them were bullshit, and I know that's the the, uh, the why they got there originally, but yeah. they could serve a purpose. Or if we were in a society, would would most of us self destruct, or would most of us end up getting addicted to all of these things? You have to ask yourself that: Is it better or worse for I, us? Where I, we're I, at? Here's, the, I mean, statistically speaking, a very, very small percentage. Look at you know how many millions of Americans have used drugs, have tried drugs. I'm not counting, and I'm not even counting pharmaceutical drugs, which are also drugs, by the way. Right? People have used ph pharmaceutical drugs, still drugs, Man. still powerful. In fact, kill way more people than illegal drugs. But that's a different subject. But how many Americans have tried cocaine? marijuana, psychedelics, like, you know, uh, methamphetamines, like, how, a, a, a lot of Americans, most Americans have tried one illegal drug, and the vast majority of us haven't self-destructed and turned into fucking addicts. There's a very small percentage of yeah, us that Yeah, but is that, motivation, that, that. is that motivation through fear or knowledge of them? No, I think we've tried it, and people just so haven't So knowledge become, of them. You think it's because of knowledge of them? I think be, becoming an addict isn't so much the, the substance as it is the, the, the conditions that the person uses the, the substance. Why, I'm why not disagreeing. Using? I'm just challenging your thought process. Yeah. That's all. Do, so here's, here's the thing. Let, let, me, let me put it to you this way. Okay. If we want to really be empath, if we really, really, really think that it's bad for people to do lots of drugs because then they're more likely to you know do terrible things, more likely to be violent, more likely to steal and all that stuff. And yes, you can definitely make that argument 100%. And we all agree upon that. Why is the answer that we're going to throw people in jail for it? Yeah. Why isn't the answer, take that money? And yes, if they hurt someone on drugs, you throw them in jail. If they steal something while they're on drugs, you throw them in jail. 
if they do something to someone else or someone else's property, throw them in jail. But if they do nothing else, why don't we take that money instead of throwing them in jail, saying here's some potential ways you can help yourself if you have if you think you have a problem. Because the reality is you're not going to be able to, you can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves anyway. Right. I mean, how many addicts do you know that you could throw all the fucking resources in the world, you could throw them in jail, you could do whatever you want. If they don't want to change, they're not going to change. Yeah, no, you know I what I'm saying? Yeah. So why not take those resources if that's what we really believe in and say, okay, maybe instead of throwing you in jail, we're going to offer you these these resources to help yourself when you're ready. And by the way, while using these drugs, oh, dude, yeah. Yeah, and by the way, while using these drugs, if you hurt anybody, we're going to fucking throw you in recover. jail. Yeah, why like, would you just throw them in a box and yeah. expect like yeah. an awesome human being to emerge? It's it's a it's a massively controlling thing that we really need to take a step back. It's a it's a very interesting problem. It's a very strange. How weird is that that you can you can get thrown in a cage? I mean, I, I think we're doing we're, something to yourself. Yeah, but I, what? Think, I think we're just we're watching that. Yeah, I mean, we're watching it unfold. I mean, yeah. we, we look in our lifetime alone. Look it's what changing. You, yeah. We're realizing that it was a like, grand this experiment. Is, this is society, right? It was a grand. Experiment. It was a grand. It was, a, it was trillion free. dollar experiment. <laughs> yeah, right. That yeah. destroyed a lot of communities, a lot of people. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, I hate to be the conspiracy guy, always following the money, but that's like where I always end up. Mm-hmm. Right? You know, like where are the motivations in in this entire mm-hmm. uh, process? Like what you know. And why did we build all these like, why are we so greedy dude if we, just, did, if we didn't have money and all these self things absorbed like, assholes. we still have that 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 that, that, that greed that money's drive. just a tool right right yeah, money, yeah. money's just a thing it's, right it's now it's power but like thousands and thousands of years before we oh, had yeah. like humans are very we're very interesting like that in the like, sense like that, would you yeah. be trying to steal others you know wives or partners would you be doing would you would you, we have this na- that, that natural desire to do that you think a lot of people would have that i think i think that's a natural look mm. at, everybody thinks that everybody else is greedy they never think that, that they're sell that themselves are greedy like i'll tell you what here's that's, an example that's naive it's very naive but yeah. that's what a lot of people say like those greedy business people those greedy no there's some yeah well look at yourself no no hold on a second greed is a natural wanting for yourself is a very natural human emotion or human need or desire we want for ourselves that's how we survive, right? That's how we take care of ourselves. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. What you want to do is you want to encourage a system that where you want more for you, the only way you can get more for you is if you do something for someone else. That's what you want to do with that. Mm. But you can't erase the that part of us that wants for ourselves. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. You can't erase that. You, so what you want to do is you want to create a system that prevents me from stealing yeah. And prevents me from beating the people you up to do it. You just reward them for certain things. Yeah, you want to be like, for others. Yeah, oh, you want lots yeah. of money? Fine. Yeah. Here's a system that because lets you get lots of money. Things. But so the only way you on can that, get lots of money note, is everybody gives note, it to you. On yeah, that yeah, yeah. note, how do you know that's not where China is trying to get to you? Fat, trying to help evolve their nation faster. <laughs> how? Oh, there's, there, there's, there, it's through so, that through the through the whole scoring system of. How do you know there's not like this huge positive spin and they're trying to help force their entire country to move in a direction to evolve us to where we can do that? You got to know that's got to be the spin that they I, put well, in there. Well, look, right? here's, the, here's the difference. I don't know what it's like to grow up in you, that. No, no, here's the difference. The difference between what they're doing with, with that social media you know, program or whatever well, they're that using. just screams control. And the difference of between what we're using here. Yeah, but again, that's also the screaming control. The, the control. All, Right, right. All that. It's the power. It's the, it's the power. It's the that's difference where I'm between. I'm always a skeptic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you put too much power in one direction. Well, it, it's uh, they it corrupts. Can, yeah, they can still. And again, I agree with you guys. You. But you, I mean, thinking like that—that's got to be the reason why it works and why yeah. so, so so many people still do it and get behind it. Yeah. yeah, it's always it's always a bunch of it's always people thinking they know better and they know the direction everybody should go. And here's the deal. Yeah. Sometimes here's the kicker. Okay, well, how do we how do we know that their here's, way isn't better than our I'll, way? Because I'll tell you why. Hundred percent. This is 100% why. The goal, I think the goal of all societies is always to get, is for everybody to work together. I don't think anybody can argue that Mm -hmm. humans aren't capable of incredibly amazing things when we all decide, when we all work together. But the kicker is it has to be voluntary. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work when you force people. It's not the same. It's not the same at all. Take a group of people and force them to be creative mm-hmm. versus a group of people coming together well, and out of their own volunteer. Is it really forcing you if you're, if you're just 
making it aware and revealing their scores based off of the good deeds and the things that they do, are you really forcing them or are you just revealing to everybody else in the rest of this economy and world that they where live in at. where they're at? Yeah. It's like, oh, Justin has five stars. Well, he has five stars because he's yeah. done this, 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 and all these good things. His credit's good. He's sure, good to people. He sure, does all these things. Sure. Therefore, well, if it was, here's, again, like your concern, uh, you know, with, with the free market and all that, what my concern is that there's always going to be somebody within that, fabric that's going to be able to hack in and manipulate things, which is then which is, going to like take well, it. No, but they, they don't have to hack in. They don't have to hack in. It's the owners of that program. And they've created a monopoly for it. So in other words, let's say you're in China right now. You live in China. And you've got this system now that the government now has put place forth. Well, and yeah, you yeah. design the ones that built you, it. You're like, you know what? There's, I like that system. Right. It's, it's kind of cool. Just from that but out. I want to make a system that I think is going to be better. You can't. It's illegal. You yeah. can't put out a system There's on no their internet. There's no competition. You, no, they've monopolized it. It's control, yeah, yeah. and that's the problem. No, we right. have the that, same. That's what it is. The, there's no. There's no checks right. and balance. The difference is here. We have that too. We have Facebook and Instagram, and we have Twitter, and we have TV and radio and podcast. We have all that shit here too. But it's not illegal to create something that may work better. You see what I'm saying? Over there, it's like it's 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 a monopoly. It's a state sponsored monopoly, and of course, the people sponsoring it have the power to. Let me put it this way. If that system... Let's On say a that, whim. That's right. Let's say that system explodes and does very well for them and everybody buys in and, of course, because it's forced, there's no competition. But let's say they do do a good job and they figure it, figure it out. What's to say that they're not going to be like, okay, let's take all the people with a score less than 100. Let's just go round them up and throw them in jail. Oh, no. I already see... You know what I'm saying? I see all the, Absolutely. like, where it could be bad. But that's, again, us looking at it from that perspective. What sure. if you looked at it from the other perspective of... What could all the positive things? Imagine how easy you could bring everybody up. If everybody like could actually see all that stuff, you would naturally migrate to people with higher scores, if, especially if the scoring was based off of good things. Sure. Being a good person in society. That already stealing. happens. That already happens. It yeah. kind of does, but this is just exposing it on another it's level. It's not exposing it. It's monopolizing it. Well, yeah. I agree. Because, I'm not disagreeing because with you, think but about I'm it this our way. perspective and the way we look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But think about it this way. When you meet someone... I know it challenges your, 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 your 100% your beliefs. Yeah, yeah, it's but, liberty and free market. I mean, it's everything against that. Well, no, 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 no. Let me put it this way. When you meet someone, it's very natural for you to to score them yourself. There's many things. What my friend said about that person, how that person's carrying themselves, maybe the car they drive, the way they, they walk, uh, the way they present themselves, how they dress. Um, yeah, maybe I can look up their credit you're score. You're allowing somebody else to create that for you. That's right, and right. it's monopolized. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but the monopolized. argument could be a majority of people don't do a good enough job that. Now, you are a different person. You're a really intelligent person. You have the, you, have, you have empathy. You have experience. You're knowledgeable. You're yeah. well-read. You have the ability to decipher all that information when you're processing, okay, meeting this person. Who are these, who are these all-knowing, angelic, it's awesome not, people? It's not necessarily yeah. that they're all-knowing, but maybe they're 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 in a, uh, a better position to help guide. Go and find them for me. Think well, about it this way. No, no, I agree. Find I agree. me. I'm just challenging the you, very you know? people that seek that kind of power are the very people you don't want to have. I know that kind of power. Go find me these altruistic, angelic, all-knowing fucking leaders that can decide these things for us. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Exist. That nobody has that knowledge, that information. Nobody, no one, no one, no group of people can do that. No. The best chance we have is to let everybody, and I mean everybody, I mean everybody, decide that through a system of... <laughs> you can't of, just say the smartest people, because a lot of times they lack the most empathy. Oh my God. Some of the most evil motherfuckers in the world were super intelligent, super smart, smart, smart but people. But that's like the argument a lot of times. Let's just gather the smartest yeah. people in the world and have them solve all our problems. No, dude. No. no. <laughs> you know, the, you know, you know pro the, the progressivism, the now modern progressivism is different, but it started a long time ago with... Very with intellectuals and intellectuals thinking that they could shape society, and they came up with cleansing society of getting rid of you know uh, mm -hmm. uh, races eugenics, that were not right? eugenics. Yeah, oh, killing off these races. They're not as smart as us, and oh, dumb people are going to be. We're going to kill them over here to ensure the because they were trying to sculpt and shape society. It's all about control, man. Yep. And when people need to realize is stop trying to control people, let people live. Just protect yourself from. You know, protect. You know, make sure that nobody hurts each other. Or whatever. I understand that part, and that's the only way that that things progress. You can't control everybody. It doesn't work that way. Well, it just it, doesn't work. I mean, think about some of the very first laws. What were like the first, like as far as like a society, right? What were some of the the first, first rules were just societal pressures. I think they weren't necessarily laws in the sense that they were just like think about it this way. Don't like, murder me. 
Yeah, like, like, like. I don't think it had to be a law that you know you're living in a tribe and oh that guy's killing people. Yeah. We're all gonna kill him because yeah, yeah. he's dangerous. Let's get rid of that guy. Or oh you're lazy. Well, because you're lazy, you're not gonna eat. You got to go get your own food or whatever. You know, it was, it was easier I think to manage. But I, a lot of the original laws were based around things that are older than us, older than societies yeah. that help us form these societies that kind of function you know well together. That's what I think. But it is, it is interesting, though, that, that control that we want over other people and feeling like we know what's better for everybody. We just don't. Yeah. You just don't know what's better for people. Uh, yeah. I think we're all susceptible to that feeling, though. Like when you get a certain amount of knowledge and you're like, oh, well, I could do it so much better this way. And they should raise their kids like this. Yeah. And they should say these things. And these are the right. things people should learn. And uh, no, man, it doesn't really, no. I don't know, it kind of doesn't work that way, you know? I mean, look at education. I think when we when we plug that into education, we do, we we create a bunch of robots. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Rather than teaching kids what to think, like teach them how to think, yeah, teach or help them, them how to think, yeah. yeah, and give them kind of like uh, you know tools to expand their own right. knowledge by what they're what they're interested in, and, and kind of watch what happens. You get a lot of innovation that way. Yeah. That's why you're seeing an explosion of entrepreneurship right now. Hundred percent. Technology is creating that. Hundred percent. I agree. Yeah. You know, it's been a long time mm-hmm. since entrepreneurship was cool. It really has. It's been. I mean, it's always been kind of cool, but it's it, losing. It's cool for me, right? When everyone else is thinking it's cool, yeah. I think it's losing. It's cool Fuck. for me. We got to call it something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we gonna call it? I don't know. Uh, it, it, I, I think it's it's losing. It's cool to me because I think that people think it's way easier than what it really is. Entrepreneurship. Yeah, I think the perception of it has changed a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think I think a, a lot of people, because um, you. I mean, what what defines entrepreneurship, right? Going into work for yourself is that something that's that not it? nine to five really right. these days, right? Yeah, no, so, working for you basically, right? Working not for working yourself. for anyone else, right? That's all you have to say. That's a yeah. very wide spectrum. Yeah, yeah. very, very yeah. like we need to separate that. There are different. Like, I don't levels. want to be lumped in with like everybody. Just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take pictures and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, but I make money. But well, it's true. It's an entrepreneur. Loan you know? o- loan officers and, and real estate agents are, can, are kind of like entrepreneurs. I mean, there's a little bit of a structure, but they're kind of building their own business too. So there's different levels. Sure. Then you got people who open up a business. That's a different level of it. I just feel like it's getting bastardized right now. Yeah, mm. that's how I feel. Whatever, I don't yeah. care. Well, I don't. Really Let people care, try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, just, yeah, it's yeah, less yeah. cool to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it is like, less cool. Yeah, it was hella that's just cool. What like, happens? It's yeah, like not cool anymore. Yeah, it's it's like a term or something like your. Parents or maybe we start get, saying like, <laughs> well, getting jiggy with it. Like you know, you catch your parents say that. You're like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's yeah. like, bro, that's us now. By the way, I know we're all saying the stupid shit. That sounds <laughs> that's dirty. I know. I know. I know. I'm catching yeah. myself yeah. <laughs> referencing sitcoms at <laughs> 30 years old. Yeah, you guys yeah. remember Alf? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think I think no. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurship is cool, and I like that because it's 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 allowing people to go in and, and create and express themselves. I like that, but you're also a lot of people are going to learn that it's not it's not for everybody. That's for sure. No, I think it's not for most people. Let's be honest. Yeah. Entrepreneurship is not for most for most people. Yeah. Although you know, because it's easier like to become an entrepreneur, it might be e- it yeah. might be you know I mean? it, entrepreneurship might be for more people today than it was before. Though, think about that. Yeah. Like twenty years ago, if you wanted to start a business, you needed to be able to gain cap- to to build capital, save up, risk it mm-hmm. on a business. So there was a smaller pool of people willing to do that. Today, it doesn't necessarily mean that. You can start a business with way less capital and way less oppor- you know, chance or, or risk. There you go. We just call them risk takers. You know, yeah. The well, all it's, all it's, it's no different. It's just yeah. it's allowed it's you to- It's the very degree of it. I mean, I was telling you guys this. There, a lot of people, will, you'll, you'll see that. What we're seeing in podcast, let's talk about our space. That's what we know more about right now in anything, right? Like our space, you're going to see a lot of people that will come in and they'll reach kind of their ceiling potential. They'll get... And that's because what's cool though is they can do that really fast in, today than they faster than what they could have done yeah. a long time ago. Like you have to get a before you have to do a brick and mortar and build a business around that. You know how long it takes before so many people pass by your building yeah. or so many magazines or newspapers or Dude, radio it's crazy. spots. I was talking yeah. to my buddy who owns a gym and I was trying to explain this to him and I'm like, listen, man, because look, we all I came up in the same in the in the gym business just like you guys did, but it's so different. I was trying to explain to him. I'm like, look, man. You own a gym. Let's say, first of all, you got to fucking bust your, you're here. And look, you got to bust your ass no matter what. But you got to be here busting your ass differently when you own a brick and mortar business like a gym. And you're limited to how many people you can reach because there's a, a certain perimeter or, of, of, you know, of how many miles around you that people will come actually work out at your gym. You're not going to get people from across the country buying a membership at your gym because they can't access your gym. Mm-hmm. So you're limited in that respect. But let's say you do succeed and you do well and you want to open another gym. 
Well, now you got to risk another half a million dollars yeah. in another business, yep. and then you got to do that all over again. And now you've lost and you, lose that money. and you have to duplicate the same environment that you created to make that one successful. Yeah, yeah. and which that's all, a whole other monster. There's layers of the onion. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. Just, the, you just accomplished like the and, center. And I was trying to tell him like how hard it is to scale that yeah. versus an online business where. Scaling it is way easier. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you could create an informational product that people really value, build some authority. I think it's, and then I, just I think duplicate it. And I think it's equally as hard. I don't know, man. Going through this funnel process, dude, this is so complex. Yeah. It's, it is, but to scale people, it, people don't understand the, like the behind bro, the curtains. Bro, of listen, what listen, 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 what's, what's, your, what's, entails, your, what's your definition dude? of scaling? So it's, not, it's not easy at all. What's your definition of scaling? Well, let me put it this way. Let's say it's not easy to scale. Well, hold on. Let's say you want to sell a $100. A hundred dollar membership, right? A hundred dollar membership, and you had a gym, um, and you wanted to reach ten thousand people. That's fucking going to be very, very hard yeah. to reach ten thousand people. And then let's say you want to reach a million people, ten million people online. Scaling that is a lo- can happen a lot faster. It's a lot easier in the brick and mortar. It's gonna it's gonna be like ridiculous amounts of capital having to dump in and tied up into you know like restaurants or gyms or businesses like. Yeah. Look at like look how much money we have invested to reach as many people as we, as as well, that we've I think, reached. I think, how hard would that be in in a, in a brick and mortar business? I think you're business? right, but there's also a lot it's of just barriers different. that it's people different. don't understand yes. that are monumental barriers right. until you reach yeah. that freedom. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. it's it. I think it's just as hard. It's different. Yeah. It's a, it's a, just a total different, way more upside. You know, like it, with, with online, like yep. way more upside because of the access to uh, more people and just the. Whatever product or whatever you know message you're putting. Also, out there. way more risk for it to come crashing all the way down. True. I mean, oh my I, God. I, you look at examples of like shreds. If it's a house of cards, look, at, look it's how, coming down. Right. I oh mean, man, it's you. You, you see yeah. rise and fall so fast. Yep. So that, that's what I mean market. by it's. I don't know if it's such a better time or it's it's so much easier. I don't think it's any of those things. I well, think it's I, different. I think it's easier in I a lot of respects. I, but you're right. It is very. I don't different. think it's easier. Well, l- l- the barriers are lower, much lower. The money barrier is much lower. Yeah, but the, the, with that, okay, because of that, now means the competition doubles and triples, which means it's even yeah. more competitive, which means it's even harder to stand out. Now so for everything lost. that you say is positive, there's a there's yeah. a bad side to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a window the, there. So it's not timing, really, which it's not have, really yeah. as easy as everybody thinks. I hear it is what you're right. saying. Yeah. You're, uh, no, I'm thinking of specifics. You're right. Generally speaking, yeah, no, it's it's not yeah. easier. No. But in, in some respects, it is in the sense that, like, the barriers alone were... You know, the barrier to open a brick and mortar is capital, lots of capital. Mm-hmm. Uh, the right, barrier, but, be, but because of that, yeah, now is. that I ha- now I have fucking five Joe Smos that have, have no business even being in my business <laughs> are opening right next door to me <laughs> and using gimmicks and doing things to get yeah. attention yeah. that I got to deal with as a business owner now. So it's, yeah. it's it's the monster is the same, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the yeah. same monster. It's it's still it's still very it's still now, difficult for w- sure. What's yeah. different now, I feel like, is that the the things, the core things that are so important to be building and scaling a very successful business tends to get lost in all this minutia, right? All this shit that we have with people with social media and posting pictures and, you know, pretending to be no, at the end of the more day, successful than what they really are. At the, like, end, of, at the end of the day, right. the basics are the same. The rules are the same. You got to provide some shit with value. Yes. You got to be able to produce it efficiently so that you can sell it at a profit. Right. Uh, and you need to be able to build a team that can scale and work under you. Got to have an do, incredible product. Yeah. And I mean, you got to have an incredible product, yeah, bottom dude. Line. Bottom yeah. line, and I don't care if it's, I mean, old, new, it's, that's the bottom line. You can't, because we do see people who reach a lot of people through new media yeah. that don't have a business. No. They it, don't have a business. Every time I talk to a young person that's getting into this space, they always want to ask me questions around, like, the algorithms to YouTube and the Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, how do I hack my way to the top? Right. You can't. Like, you don't want to. That's yeah. what my argument yeah. is. You don't want to hack exactly, your way to the top. Dude. You exactly. don't want to receive a million people following you for some weird-ass reason yeah. that you don't want to keep up for the next 30 years of your life. No, if you're listening right now, fucking you, think about that for a second. Yeah. You don't want to hack the yeah. system. Unless you want to come in and out just as quickly as you can. Right, do. yeah. Plus, It'll plus. be short-lived. Plus, the thing that trips me out is how people, they, they want that attention so bad. And it's like fame without. That's why it's really deceiving. It's terrible. really deceiving because it's also fucking with your ego at the same time, too. Yeah. Because because now all these people are comparing. And that's why you yeah. see everyone. I got a million followers on it. Like, you want that much attention on you for what? Yeah, what are you doing? You've done nothing with it. Right. Why, why do you want that? Or you make, a, you know, six figures. You've got ten, a million people watching you for six figures. Yeah. Like, why? Why would you want that? It's a total ego ego game the entire time right. look at all you know all these people like well me. yeah and i think that it's a little bit of just being naive too i think at that point a lot of people that are reaching that maybe 
they haven't put the hard work in. They haven't failed at enough businesses. They haven't built something up the hard way, yeah. right? They haven't gone and done the the long work first before they can get that that success, long term success. That's why actually, you're, you're, I mean, it's it is true. It's like one of the worst things you could possibly get is what you think you want and realize you don't want that. That's not what it was. Like yeah. you could chase success and maybe through some fluke luck get it because you did some viral video or whatever. It is not the same as like learning the process the entire time, struggling. Yes. Failing and succeeding and failing and succeeding, like that may actually be your worst nightmare. It is. Yeah. It hundred percent is. Yeah. Yeah. I've always said that about our business. I don't want us to get a fuck. I don't want to go viral. Yeah. I don't want all of a sudden a million people flood in. That's why we're learning all these other processes that we have to get in place. And look where we're at right now and what we're doing today. It's just it's a, another example of so well, important to have all that. This actually echoes, and I always bring music as an analogy, but it it echoes really really good musicians who put in like an insane amount of time to he so wants us to be a rock bro. band so bad <laughs> I you, do. Want, I'm you want us you to be a rock band so I can't sing bro I hate it, I you, hate it. You, pick, you pick the wrong guys yeah, yeah, no. yeah, it's the true. least fucking musical <laughs> it's just so ironic to me that, that yeah. this is like exactly what I was bro I was going for right this is something this is like a <laughs> dream of mine but it looks so much different now that i'm you know doing it this way yeah, yeah. yeah does yeah. that make sense yeah, like yeah. i like i have this vision of like i don't know i you get in this flow state you're playing music everything's awesome and you're just in the moment but i can recreate that by just you know podcasting and yeah. meeting cool people yeah. and all that same thing but it's just it's just weird to me that didn't take off i, 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 <laughs> I will, I will say weird to me i will say this like creating a business where we can literally express ourselves and do it in a way that where we feel like there's a real meaning and purpose behind it. Like we really want to help people. We really want to help bring the right kind of information. We really want to train people like we did for years as personal trainers, but be able to reach a lot of people and, and help shift, you know, the way people think. And that we've actually created a business around that is a real amazing blessing. And I swear to God, man, especially days like this, like we're well, we're I, literally sitting on a balcony. I think we're lucky. We're talking. I think we're lucky because timing in business means everything. And we are coming. We're authentic people coming into a space that is not authentic at all at the right fucking time. I don't think time. you're you know, lucky at all. I, I feel lucky, but I also feel like uh, I think I feel like it's a responsibility that we've uh, that we've taken on. Yeah, you know, and I, and I only mean that being that that we all had different paths that led us here. No, 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 no. Deliberately. Right. They took That's that, the only they took that for the formula that. to yeah. work, yeah. but our timing is lucky. I feel lucky. fortunate. Because let's put it this way. If all that, fast forward in 10, in ten years, I don't feel lucky. this will be, to, in my opinion, this be, market will be hard it to, will. to break through. The space, the space will it will demand this. It will demand that people, like I want to be, I, no matter what well, brand and, I'm dealing think with. Think of it this way. We tried going the app direction. We tried the gym business. We tried <laughs> personal training. We tried, you know, car washing. We tried, fuck, we tried a lot of fucking shit. Yeah. This is the one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not luck. <laughs> yeah, no, Adam. Fuck you, man. No. That's all no, I'm I saying. Know, I know what you're saying. You're saying the timing is, is Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's impeccable. Excellent. It's, and, and, and it's perfect for us yeah. where we're at. Also, in 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 our own personal journeys yeah. and lives, and our collective journey together, yeah. I think is important. Oh, it couldn't have happened at a better time. Yeah, yeah. I definitely am not discrediting it. Trust you, we all put plenty of hard I am work so, in for I a am long so, time. I am so so right. thankful that I did not meet you guys when when we were in our twenties. <laughs> no, really, right? Yeah. In our twenties, it is totally different. I think if we met in our twenties, that this would have never it would have never worked out the way the way it has. No way. Yeah, it would have been a lot of ego, a lot of fucking, you know. Yeah. It might have been fun for a second, but I'm out of here. Yeah, I don't know if it would have been yeah. like it is now. So, yeah. anyway. I, I, I love that the the hardest part of our job is making sure that we get our episodes up, and so we actually have to podcast on a beach sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's like that yeah. in ten years. Yeah, from whoops. Now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hope no. it's like that in ten years. No, you know really what? cool, man. And it was really nice going out there today. And it, so, you know, what we like to do some what we and this is something I really appreciate, by the way, guys. I, I want to say this. I really, really appreciate this, that we value this process so much that we actually schedule time to go away in order to work. But really, it's not just to work. It's also to foster this creative yep. energy because we value it so much and we see how important it is for, for what we do. And like a piece of that was like, you know, a few hours ago, we were out on the beach sitting down and we always talk about business. It's always about the business. We almost don't talk about anything else because we're so passionate about it. But it's just being able to be on the beach and 
and be in that environment, be outside of the studio, outside of work, and we come up with our best ideas. And, and yeah. every time we f- we do something like this, I really feel uh, driven in a different way. Well, so it really sounds really woo. It sounds woo to say it keeps us grounded, but it really does. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, easily, your ego can take off with something like this, something as big as what what's happening. You know, for sure it can. And I think allowing us to disconnect from that's why I kept asking Justin like where you're at with your phone right now because I remember when my phone broke in Seattle (laughs) and it tripped me out I spent the first day every five minutes like trying to fix it yeah like I, literally you kept trying to fix it because I had it well, you at had least it. you don't, don't have it, it. like yeah. you went you went crazy and tried to find it for about 10 minutes and realized you well, don't have it the worst imagine having it yeah. and thinking I might be able to fix this thing oh, like I was yeah. fucking with it for a whole day and then I just Maybe accepted I, this. Yeah. I accepted that I'm not gonna have it yeah. then it took another 24 hours of being disconnected then it was the 48th hour where I was like this feels <laughs> really nice yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the best is yet to come, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, the best is yet to come. Feels- I would. I think I would fare much worse than you guys bro. without my phone. I have. I, I, you Not guys handled that, it really my, well. I brought my laptop too. Is like sort of you know that was like one last electronic outlet or like you know I could tap well, into that and then that just died. Listen, so I, I tell any, you what. I tell I you what. Nothing. I think we should schedule a time where we go off and we literally. And I know you're going to say no, Adam. <laughs> we go camp where we have no electronics, but because we I are, can bring my he's like, we could camp yeah. in Beverly Hills <laughs> yeah. Mansion. Yeah, no, he wants to go. Yeah, he's like, we can go stay in a hotel. No, no, no. I want to go. So, you know, someone sent me that. Like, someone what? sent me a meme the other day. They in my DM, they sent me this meme of like. Like it was some, it was a camping reference or yeah, like that. how you would camp. Yeah, it was like a five star hotel <laughs> yeah, and like room service right. and shit. Like so that. I think we should go out into na- into nature for a few days, disconnect from everything, be lost, and I think we'll come back with some of the best fucking creative information that we've come up oh, with. You know me, I'm but, nature boy. But dude. hold on, here's the deal. Now I know Adam hates that. He does not want to go to nature. Doesn't want to rough it. I get that. I don't like it either. So I can I can relate. I grew up in it. But you're also fucking <laughs> you're also a fucking team player, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so what we're out. gonna do is we're gonna vote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna vote. <laughs> you're also a team player. <laughs> yeah. Raise your hand if you think that's a raise your hand if you think that's a good idea. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks like that's what we're doing, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck team. yeah. Go team. Yeah. No, I'm not down. I just don't want to turn it to the Onnit crew. We go get do ayahuasca. Fucking no, it, we're not going to do that. You know like, <laughs> let them be. Let them do that. There's plenty of people that are into they, all that they have shit. Their own team bonding. And they yeah. want and they want to talk about that every no, fucking no, thing no, and getting no. closer to becoming like God. Like that ain't my thing. You know no, what I'm saying? No, no, no. Like we're just, just going to go camping. camping. But I definitely see lots of value <laughs> in us going Calm out down. to the beach and nature. Well, yeah, but that's how he starts, bro. <laughs> He starts you there, and he's going to slide you into uh, some ayahuasca. I'm no, warning, I'm not. Warning. Wow. I'm warning you, Justin. I've never even wow. done ayahuasca. <laughs> I I've didn't never see even... that coming, dude. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even done that. That's so funny. Yeah, that. that. Cause, and, and we are. I'm 100% we're going to go do something like that because yeah. I'm super game for that. And I think it's just. I think it's good in general. Katrina and I have talked about that. We're you know, unplugging, leaving everything just for two or three days and go be with each other and go camping or go out on the beach it doesn't and to me it doesn't have to be roughing it like fucking crazy stop trying to close us yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean no, we can just turn everything off yeah, 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 but be yeah, in a hotel yeah. that's yeah. what I'm saying <laughs> bro I knew that was gonna hey, be his angle it doesn't get much more peaceful than what we're sitting at right now yeah well it, it does though yeah. it does yeah. it does yeah. really yeah if, yeah if you're if, if all of us were I wanna go to Alaska if dude. we were in nature and there was nothing not even this po- podcast, and it was just us. Well, and there's yeah, nothing that's else. That's a little bit different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that'd be good. That's good time. I like this better though. I'm not gonna lie. This is nice. Yeah, this is nice. I good conversation. Nice breeze on me. Sun's blaming on me. That's I can right. hear the waves crashing. That's right. You're not gonna beat it. Yeah. yeah. Except if I had a Moscow Mule, I think I'd be good. That's where. Right. Did you bring stuff for drinks at all this trip? No, man. No, no we gotta go get. This is a sober trip. Yeah, this this was is a sober. Soberish. Why, dude? I don't have a phone. It's yeah. so funny how we don't cons- you don't consider weed. <laughs> it's sober. It's medicine. Hey. Yeah, exactly. It's part of the process. I don't know about you guys, but I'm hungry. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, Let's grab too. some food. I'm down. Hey, look, cool. check this out. You can find us on Instagram. I'm Mind Pump Sal. We have Mind Pump Adam, Mind Pump Justin. Also, we have free resources. Isn't that crazy? I can just turn it on like that. I can just oh, turn it on. You're a professional. God damn it. <laughs> we have free Free resources. You, you didn't think that episode wait, wait, was wait. enough of jerking yourself you off? Want to, you, you, had to, hand you, had off your you needed to do some more? <laughs> you just did like two hours of At jerking off. At one of us do it, it was for like, you. Yeah, Half the mean? people already tuned God, out. Sorry, you're such like, a fucking right, professional. Do it, Justin. Always killing Take it, it away, Justin. You know what I mean? Where can so, they find the free guys? You're going to find us at, uh, it's at mindpumpfree.com. That's the new link that, uh, de- I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I know my strengths. You were doing so well, Justin. I know my strengths. 
I'm, a, I'm very self-conscious. <laughs> free guides. We have all of our free guides on there. Flabby arm guide, flat tummy guide, build your chest guide, build your quads guide. Uh, well-written guides. <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote them? Who wrote them? <laughs> I, I did. Uh, and they're all free. Mindpumpfree.com. Go check it out. Thank you for listening to Mind Pump. If your goal is to build and shape your body, dramatically improve your health and energy, and maximize your overall performance, check out our discounted RGB Super Bundle at mindpumpmedia.com. The RGB Super Bundle includes MAPS Anabolic, MAPS Performance, and MAPS Aesthetic. Nine months of phased expert exercise programming designed by Sal, Adam, and Justin to systematically transform the way your body looks, feels, and performs. With detailed workout blueprints and over 200 videos, the RGB Super Bundle is like having Sal, Adam, and Justin as your own personal trainers, but at a fraction of the price. The RGB Super Bundle has a full 30-day money-back guarantee, and you can get it now, plus other valuable free resources at mindpumpmedia.com. If you enjoy this show, please share the love by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes and by introducing Mind Pump to your friends and family. We thank you for your support, and until next time, this is Mind Pump. 